All right, Title Town takes. Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft live stream. Ian Boshane set to be joined momentarily by our co-hosts Connor Powell and Cam Erbowitz. We hope everybody is safe and doing well at their households. I know this is in unusual time in our world welcome everybody in attendance here that's tuned in and we uh we'd love to hear from you be sure to comment down below let us know where you're watching from and what you're most looking forward to see in tonight's draft i believe it's pretty obvious that most folks out there know who the number one overall pick is going to be. Uh, Joe Burrow out of Louisiana State University, the defending college football playoff champions. He's expected to go number one overall to the Cincinnati Bengals. So it'll be... Great, great to see. I believe Connor's getting set to join us now as he's. What's up, everybody? Coming back in. Connor Powell. Got my headphones and everything. Awesome. It's a great trip. So we're just giving a uh, brief general overview of what can be expected here, at least early on, anyways. Um, you know, I, I think the consensus number one overall pick at the moment is going to be Joe Burrow. I think there'll be a lot of people out there that are surprised if that doesn't happen. Um, I don't know if you have any thoughts you want to give on the, on the number one overall pick. Me? Or the yeah. People? Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think it, I mean, the, the Bengals don't pick Joe Burrow. I think they're morons. Who do they have a quarterback now? I mean, Andy Dalton was their quarterback. Uh, the Red Rocket. They, the Red Rocket, of course, um, which people are saying maybe to New England, Andy Dalton. I really hope not. But, um, yeah, I think it's uh, it, it's Joe Burrow for Cincinnati. I mean, you can't really go wrong with, with uh, Chase Young and or Joe Burrow. So, I think it's uh, – who's the number two? Uh, Chase Young is projected to go number no, two. No, who's, uh, who's got the second pick? Oh, second overall? Mm -hmm. um, crap, I, ha I just had it. Is it by Miami? Uh, no, Washington. The Redskins. Washington. Yeah. I mean, Washington needs everything. Cincinnati kind of just needs a quarterback, I think. I mean, obviously they need a little bit more than a quarterback, but quarterback will help them a lot. Yeah. It'll uh so we're just waiting. Uh we got it says one watching. There we go. Hey one viewer, what's up? Who is it? Can we tell? Can we, uh, do we have comments? I don't know. Okay. Well, hello to whoever's watching. We uh, we appreciate you joining us on this this lovely Thursday night. First sports action in a long time here. So that is, that is very true. Who was having a sneezing fit on your end? There? Oh, my father. My father. Probably hear a lot of him tonight because he's a loud man. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no. Todd McShay got it? Damn. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, there, oh. this is what, what do we have? Wow. Where's Wiggins? Is he coming? Uh, I don't know. I would hope so. He just he's he's sending me a call now. I'll invite him. Yeah, here we go. I was waiting. I was fucking waiting, boys. We're live, Cam. Yeah, cool. Cam. We are live. I know I'm live. 
I see the little thing up in the corner. There you go. Okay. This is a kid family friendly event right now, Cameron. Family friendly event. Ooh. All right. Time to boo the commissioner. Nah. Yeah. No, I'm, he can take a pass. I'm not going to boo him when they're showing all this stuff on the screen. That's a good that, point. Or taste. That's why they're not showing them. There you go. Boo. That's very true. Well, okay. What are we? Are we all watching on the same feed here, by the way? I got ESPN. ESPN. ESPN? All right. Perfect. Cool. Workers, welcome to the show. Good to be here. I was in a Discord with a couple other buddies of mine. We were just talking about the draft. John, look, hop on the live stream, baby. Watch us. I'll think about it. <laughs> we might actually, if they, if we do that, we might, we might actually look at the chat because they'll just be yelling at us how much we suck. Well, Ian's got the chat, I think. I think it's how much you I suck, Cameron? Oh. I do not suck. What do you got? A little chips there, Ian? Oh, yeah. Some, got some chips. Oh, we have lost Wicca's feed. Yeah, because I'm doing stuff. You told me to share wow. the link, so I shared the link. There's an awkward time to have a mouthful of food. Yeah, that is an awkward moment. Yeah. We got an anthem. Yeah. Harry Connick. I'm not going to ask. Oh, wow. Play ball! All right, let's get drafted, are we gonna get, folks. Are we going to get a Monday that Night was, Football version? That was awesome. Um, are you ready for some drafting? Fellas, all up, up, up here, right? We, uh, we know Joe Burrow is going to be the number one overall pick, or at least he should be. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to set an over-under here at three and a half minutes on how long it takes before Cincinnati comes up and they – However, it's however the draft pick is announced. Mm. How long do we think before it actually was the max five minutes? It's 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I hope the they're going to make the pick and their Zoom crash calls and they can't get on for the remaining time. So the pick is forfeited. Life's too short to bet the under, fellas. Taking the over. Taking the over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, I'd probably say yeah, they usually take a long time well. anyway. I'll take the over. Because I usually like to give them time to talk about a bunch of hey, stuff, too. Hey, guys, it said 8 o'clock start for the draft. It's 8.09. Well, the coverage started at 8, Cam. What the hell? I'm telling you, this is one thing I don't miss about sports being gone. The 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 fake start times. Here we go. Grab on it, Cam. The fake right start fan. times. Right I don't fan, miss that. Talks, 
as soon as sports are back, he's back to shitting all over it. He was just like, hey, family, two, two weeks ago, he was like, oh, you know, when sports comes back, I'm going to look at it with, through a different lens. And here yeah, he it's is. It's not back yet. It's not back yet. <laughs> it is. This, this is ain't sports. sports. This is not sports. This, this is a draft. Sports. This is a sports draft. There's what? a difference. For what? A draft. It's a sports For draft. What? It's not, For it's a not sport. live coverage of a sport. It's this not an actual game. Coverage. There's no game being played here. Depends on what you interpret as a game, Cameron. The only game I'm going to play is how far I can put my foot up your ass. <laughs> this is going to oh, not get friendly so fast. <laughs> I don't think we have any kids watching anyway. Sorry, Who knows? kids are watching. No, I mean, but... Justin could be watching. We got Justin, two viewers. Justin has tuned in. I assume we have. I assume Cheers, we have Justin. two viewers. It's Justin and then Ian because he's looking at the chat. No, uh, it says no. It says we have six watching. Do oh. we really? What's Holy up? Holy crap! People? Hello. We're, wow. All right. <laughs> the thoughts of the three here do not. Uh, represent anything represent outside of this chat. Anything outside of Title Town takes LLC. We're here we, for we the, we're to, here we, for the football. We need we need to trademark it. All right. Um, who do you think the Patriots are taking? Oh, guys, I don't care the Patriots are taking. Look at this awesome lawnmower commercial. <laughs> Welcome to NFL Draft commercial analysis. Sixty minute runtime. Yeah, eco we, mode, boys. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta pick our favorite commercials, right? That's, that's what the like, draft's all about. That's like, that's like first round pick right there. You can go sixty yeah. minutes on eco mode. Wow. Yeah. Oh man, head and shoulders. That is top. Oh, wow. That is top tier quality. This is advertising because every, everybody wants a haircut right now. I know. Just that's bragging okay. about it. <laughs> that makes it go down for me, honestly, because it's yeah, rub my, yeah. my hair. I agree. That's why I got oh, my pizza hat on hut. right now. Pizza Hut. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pizza I'm, Hut. I got food right now, so Pizza Hut's doing nothing for me. I had uh, I already ate dinner as well. Yes, I had Johnsonville cheese sausages for dinner. For Support dinner. local, baby. Support local, yeah. Yeah. Oh, pizza Hut is not local, so. Mm-mm. I mean, to a point, it's not. There are local businesses. Well, yeah, but it's also a national brand. I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Bouty, oh, what's up, bro? Bouty. The one and only. Let's see what he's got to say. Can't believe he's the number one pick. <laughs> this guy's a legend. I like his tie. Hold on. What is the uh, what's the time for this draft? I know it's long, but eleven thirty is when it goes. Eleven thirty. Yeah. I, I we can't promise we're going to live stream this whole thing, but oh, I'll be, I'll, do? I'll be. What here. else are we going to do, fellas? I'll be there. I saw something on Twitter earlier today, fellas. It said that uh, if things stuck to the same timeline of last year's draft the patriots will be drafting anywhere from the 10 30 to 10 50 range patriots are trading out my guy they're trading up they're trading out ian we got one trade up one trade out what are you saying are you gonna say they're gonna stick they're staying put i think all right oh, there we go we're touching so someone, all bases someone's got to be right then <laughs> they're staying put if if anything maybe they jump up a spot or two that's i don't see them I don't see them doing anything. So wait, Ian, do we have a chat or can people talk or no? There's a chat. Yes. All right. Well, drop a like, uh, drop a like, uh, drop a comment, put in the comments. What you think? What do you think the Pats are going to do? Or your team. We want to, we want to hear you. We want to, we want to communicate with you guys. We, we love our fans. The, the few of them that we have. Oh, but... if, there, if, there, if there's a CK Bruin fan in the chat, be, kindly ban him, please. <laughs> oh, there there is a CK Bruin fan in the oh. chat. Oh. <laughs> yes. CK, what's up, bro? Yeah, let me know what he has to say. Oh, wait. We've been, we, people have been talking. CK's been talking the whole time. He's what's he been one. having? What's he been uh, having? He says, you suck eggs and that somebody needs to change his mind. Six LSU players are going in the first round, he says, too. Okay. What the heck? They got a Zoom call with a bunch of fans? That's kind of cool. The Bungles? 
Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. That is kind of cool. They should put us up there, fellas. Oh, <laughs> you suck. Imagine they don't draft Joe Burrow. Seize the day. Oh, that's so dumb. I hope they. I hope they don't take Joe Burrow because that stupid saying. Ja. While we're waiting for the pick, let's do a quick food review. Connor, what do you have? I got um, looking like a spicy chicken. Here we go, fellas. Ooh. Can you just say they're on the clock, please? Nobody cares, Goodell. He says sharing the hug, but we're going to show him being dapping up Dapped players up, yeah. and picking up. Like, remember when – who is it? Is that Cameron Wake? It looks like it. Remember when Cameron Wake almost squished him and killed him? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, they're booing him. That's awesome. Oh, straight hands. Straight hands on there. That's great. Well, this must be the book, the commissioner thing that Bud Light was talking about. Yeah. Roger Goodell, nice basement. Confirmed. Yeah, well. He's the commissioner of the NFL. He's got two did, TVs. Did we tweet and this I out? Also I mean, yes. I also see okay. TV. But... Oh, that's kind of cool. Doom, da doom, da doom, doom, doom. All right, this we dude are... just sending out text messages. All right, we're underway. We are off and running, everybody. Here we go. 2020. Sports, everybody. Sports. Yeah, we are live. We finally have... Look at these PUBG graphics. Sports off. 29 seasons without a playoff win. It is the longest active... Connor, we needed the, the uh, we needed the Kentucky Derby. Uh, have, they, uh, have they ever won a playoff game, Cincinnati? Yeah, they won a question? couple of Super Bowls, my dude. They did? Yes. They lost to, they lost to uh, Montana twice in the Super Bowl. He's in the... Oh, He's in the Plains, Ohio. Is that where he's actually from? Or is he he's like... from Ohio, yeah. Okay. That's why he went to Ohio State. Oh, no, not High Hopes. Joe Burrow went to LSU, you jamoke. Yeah, but he went to Ohio State first, you dingus. Come on, man. You gotta wake up. No, you stuff, man. He was Mr. Football. Athens High School, Ohio. Oh, let's just wait. Mm. Oh, what's that, Ian? What's that? Really interesting. Do. He only had 39 pass attempts, though. Can we really quantify that? Yeah, that's fair. He didn't do a lot of school, I would imagine, either. We ain't here to play school. The Bayou Go Burrow, tag. baby. Go Tigers. I love the ESPN graphics package. Cam, uh, you, are, Cam you are being chirped so by my funny. uncle in the chat. I just want to put that out. No that's way. Good thing. The, what are we, the more chirps the merrier. Bring them on. Uh, he says, Cam, Charlie Coyle is the best trade by That's the That's right. Yes. Favorite. Yes, oh, Ian's uncle. Man. Oh, yeah. That, that is a big suck it Cam moment which, for us. Which, which uncle is this? Uh, Steven. My, uncle Steven. My, yeah. You just got Connor bonus points. Cheers, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're almost at three and a half minutes. Oh, yeah. Auntie Joe's in here too, Ian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, love it. Um, and what was it, Cam? You took the under, right? Of course, I said you did. the over. No, I said we the, all over. Said the over. Oh, okay. Mel Kuyper. Who the hell is Mel Kuyper? My all neighbor right, so, has more credentials than Mel Kuyper, and my neighbor. So what do we have to get? What do we have to get to? We have to get to six thirty for three minutes thirty seconds. That was what it was. No, we already hit the over. Oh, no? what was it set at? I. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. We're reaching three minutes right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so sorry, six thirty. Yeah. Come on, PA guy. Isn't that kind of your job to know that stuff? It, it, big time math. Okay, I'm not. I'm <laughs> yeah. doing it. In we haven't been. Of, we haven't been at real school in a while. I'm, I'm used to doing it in up, increments of twenty. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Who's this nerd? I don't know. He doesn't have a name tag. 
He read and shred every defense. Nice rhyming, bro. I wonder how long it There's took Kurt to Warner. with that. Like I said at the beginning of the show, uh, the subtle, subtle flex with the Super Bowl trophy behind him. It's great, though. He's got, also got the, uh, what's it called, award? The Walter Payton uh, award. Walter Payton, yeah. And then the Hall of Fame bust. Even what though, is the thing next to the bus? What is that? It looks like some really messed up keys. <laughs> yeah. All right, he hasn't gotten a call yet. I'm not gonna lie, Joe Burrow's looking fat. He's been having that he's hometown. Been, he's, been li- he's been living in his house. Yeah, he's for the a last chubby. month. Look at his tiny hands. He he may not go first here. Tell me, tell me, his dad doesn't look a little bit like Steve Spurrier. I couldn't I tell been you what Steve Spurrier, Spurrier looks Spurrier like. Looks like the old ball coach. Come on now. I, mm. Before my time. Hockey guy through and through over here. Man, we're almost out of five minutes. Uh, hey, Cameron. Uncle yes. Stephen wants to know uh, who you think the starting quarterback for the Patriots will be next year. Oh. I mean, there's a lot of outliers. I've been on the Tua train. No, cause... you've been on the James train. Oh, I also have been on the Jameis train, but I don't think that'll happen. Okay, realistically, if the, if who, the who Patriots do don't take a quarterback in the first round, it'll be stiff. Which they're not going to. Because even if the Pats take Fromm in the third round, he, Fromm's not going to be the starter. No, it'll be stiff. Do we have a phone call being made yet? Nope. Nope. I like how he's got the Bengals. Uh, paper sticker. This is, this is going to come down to the. They're going to milk this. This is going to come down to the final ten seconds of this first. This pick. is what I don't understand. You Michael Urban months. with the three Super Bowl trophies and the Hall of Fame picture. You have months to figure out who you're going to draft, and you you take up all the time. Dude, they're going to take. Uh, they're going to take Jordan Love. What has changed in the past ten minutes? We're quarantining. It's not like they can go out and train and hurt themselves or something. Also, I'd like to point out that the Patriots, someone was saying they would take Jacob Eason. The last time we yeah. took it Eason, it didn't work out very well. And I know <laughs> there's no relation, yeah. but still. It's like a Patriots player wearing number 17. It just doesn't work. Fair. Booger! Cameron, I love how you're going to be just be the talk of like Ian's family Christmas party next year. Cameron's yeah, going to be like, oh, suck it, Cameron. Oh, I don't care. I love that. That's awesome. That gets my name out more. And you guys know I don't care if people take Uncle shots. Uncle Steven at says two is a joke, Cameron. All right. <laughs> oh, Uncle Steven, I love you, man. Everyone's entitled to their opinions, right? That's right. Cameron's are just mostly wrong. Cameron's are like out there in left field. We're down to like seven minutes. What the hell? Dude, I'm telling you, their Zoom call crashed and they're going to have to forfeit the pick. I'll tell you what. I'm more interested in who Washington's going to take because apparently they they were already set. They were trying to, people were trying to trade up to two and they're like, no, we're comfortable with the guy we're going to take. They're going to take Chase Young. I don't know if they believe in Haskins. That's my my question. Mm, Imagine they take Tua. I don't know if you would take Tua no. two though. That's such a that's such a risk. And I like Tua, but Tua at two is a very big risk. He really oh pick is in pick is in pick is in. Do, 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 do. What's happening here? Come on, they're gonna show going us going back to his Heisman speech. Nobody cares. This is the thing though. Like they could show guys. This, this was only package. four months ago, and. They could show this highlight package, and then Goodell could be talking, and they could probably just completely miss it because of the Zoom not. stuff. You know what I mean? Cam, you have been called the Kurt Minahan of Titletown. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wouldn't call him quite as negative as Kurt Minahan. But... Here's the question. Dangerously the, close. You, know, you know this is live, right? Yep. Of course. But you know they're going to give them some leeway if there are technical problems. Yeah. Oh, come on. Like, every owner doesn't have the commissioner's phone number on speed dial. So, Mel Kuyper has Chase Young as the best player on the board. I'd agree with that, but if you took 
I don't know if Chase Young would be exactly what Chase Cincinnati Young needs. Chase one Chase Young wouldn't change the franchise like they're hoping Burrow does. Yeah, that's my, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's fair. It's not like a Joey Bosa situation where they already had Garoppolo and he just right, didn't right. play because he was hurt. Yeah. Oh, I don't, right. think, I don't think they'll be going back to Andy freaking Dalton. No. If they do, I'd be Next surprised. Patriots quarterback. Oh, God. Oh, he looked so at his pick phone. Pick is in and Joe Burrow does not have a phone call. Yeah, but he's got a hat in his hand. That was he, the hat he was already wearing, I think. No. He's – Oh man, I don't think it's Here we go. Burrow. First pick. Joe Burrow. Hey! There it is. There it is. It's finally Sports official. News! Sports news. Finally official. Joe Burrow, the number one overall pick. Oh, it's because he's FaceTiming. Ah. He's not on the phone. Real interesting. Okay. All right. Well, who would ever want go. to go to Nebraska? Yeah, you see, Washington's already been on the clock for three minutes. So there you go. Yeah. Look at his hair. Nerd. <laughs> so, Joe Burrow, the number one overall pick in the 2020 NFL draft. Mm-hmm. It's a great pick, you know. Fellas, your reactions. Cameron? Uh, it's just impressive that Burrow went from a guy no one was talking about heading into the season to the guy that became the first overall pick. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not like like Burrow wasn't horrible his first season at LSU, but he wasn't like this good. He wasn't like oh, fellas, he didn't have that flash. I've got his numbers right here going from 18 to 19. He completed 402 of his 527 attempts this year. Good for a 76.3 completion percentage. Yeah. Compared to a 57.8 the year prior after he completed Which 57.8 isn't that bad. So it's pretty good. 57.8 is pretty good. No. The but biggest, it's not a 70. The biggest thing here, right, is the yardage. Right. He put up 5,671 oh, yards. Look away. They didn't have to do it to me. They had to do it to you, bud. Um, and then obviously the biggest number, right, he threw 60 touchdowns this year to six six picks. That's, that's a, a big number. To, that's a 10 to 1 touchdown interception ratio. So it's mm-hmm. unbelievable. Um, as far as some other big n- numbers are concerned, right? He went 31 of 49 against Clemson in the national title game, completing 463. Uh, yards. That Clemson game, man. 463 yards, completing 63.3 percent. And Coach O currently on the television with his jean shorts. Uh, Uncle Steven, I actually do not think that I am D. Dalton will be the quarterback. I'm all for Jared Stidham. God bless his mom. Yeah, you should hear these guys gush about Stidham. Jeez. Six, three and a half. But tiny hands. <laughs> I, you ever go into the, uh, the hall funny, at Patriot Place and yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, they have the hand size? It's just funny because that's like the one thing they could get on him. When you're looking yeah. for dirt, he's like yeah. a really good kid, really good quarterback. It's like, well, we got to find something to be negative about. Mm-hmm. He's good hand. small hands. Well, Josh Allen has huge hands, and he hasn't really been the best quarterback. You're you're getting agreements from my uncle as well. For what? what pick is in about uh, for Stidham. Stidham, yep. God bless his arm. Pick is in. See, Washington's not wasting our time. Yeah, they took about half as much time, which means they put half as much thought into it. Hmm? Mm-hmm. No, hmm. they're good. Are they? This is Washington we're talking about. Wait, who is Zach Taylor? What does he do? <laughs> He's the He's coach. The head coach. Yeah, I know, but who is he? Oh, God, Brady in that jersey. Ah. Get used to that, Cameron. No, they didn't even have him in the right jersey. They had him in the ugly old jerseys. Oh, that's, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh, God. That, see, like that hurts more than actually Brady? seeing him in, an, oh, in another jersey. Oh, boy. They're really comparing him to Tom Brady right now? Already? That, Are you that, serious? This kid hasn't even taken a snap in the NFL. <laughs> He's already getting compared to Tom Brady. Wow. 
No, I man, would hate that's... that if I was Joe Burrow. Well, it's not the worst. It's not the weirdest comparison we've ever seen. Comparison to Jared Goff. Oh, he's done. Jeez, that's. I mean, that's a tale of two tapes right there. Um, but it's like uh, there was that hockey player. Remember, he was compared to Rob Gronkowski. No. Who was that? Who some was. Russian guy. No, it was it was somebody. Ryan it was the NFL draft well, geez, years you've ago. only gotten worse. But um, and then there was Cole Caulfield in the NHL draft. He was compared to Lionel Messi. Mm. If y'all remember, so it's like some of these comparisons can be pretty strange. Yeah, that's fair. The NHL also is different. You can't really. Oh, I know. There's only one football league. Oh yeah, look at that graphic. So where? What is that? What are we looking at here? Is that NFL headquarters? This is this is uh, ESPN's yeah, that, headquarters. Yeah, ESPN. ESPN. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, the man of the Joe. hour, Joe. You couldn't find better headphones, my guy. I know. At least I'm tangling. That's a sick hat. That is kind of sick. Flat brim, though. Not about it. You don't have enough style to pull off a flat brim anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. Good. I don't want to. Flat brims are nerds. Go Tigers. Wait, Cameron, what are you saying? Flat brims are for nerds. Considering that I I don't think I've ever seen a nerd Wear a flat brim hat. You couldn't be any more wrong in your life. They just oh, look you ugly. haven't lived. Flat brims just look ugly. Depends on your way. You kind of have to wear flat brims backwards. Oh, God. No, I do not want to leave the meeting. What the hell? What's the 740? Is that Ohio zip code? 740. I assume that's, that's the like zip code. Cincinnati. The area code. So the Ohio kid like goes to is it Ohio. Like that? Is it like the ludicrous song, Area Codes? There you there go, go. Connor. They heard you. Now that he's the number one pick, he can get a bigger chain. Yep. A signing bonus. Yeah, signing bonus, my baby. It'd be awkward if he doesn't get number nine, though. All, All right. The well, pick's been in for like. I was five just going to say the same thing. Hurry it up. Oh. On the phone. Uh oh! How many phones does this kid have? Three phones. It's like he's playing NHL GM mode. They got <laughs> him set up over there. Is the interview chair? They got the the light and everything. Two. I hope. I hope. I hope. Four, I hope Washington six, doesn't lose a seven. Phone They're thing. dangerously close to social distancing numbers here with seven people. Well, there's. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, if they're all family, it doesn't count. No, no it doesn't matter. It doesn't Don't matter. matter. Does that mean like Phil Rivers can't be with his family because he's got like eleven of them? Yeah. It can't count that way. He doesn't look to be thrilled. Oh, he's like, damn! I, I gotta wonder. Go if, I wonder because he's, he's getting he's drafted by the uh, Redskins. <laughs> yeah. Boo! Poor. I hope Rivera does well. He's a good coach, but it's We're like both Washington. Wrong. Washington's such, a, Washington's such a black hole, you know? Shut like up, Bob Sosi. Nothing good ever the comes worst, out. Yeah, Bob Sosi. The worst hates. press yeah. box. Here we go. Here we, Here we go. go. Who would have thought? So. That's a Woo. big man. That is a big dude. What did he get hey, suspended sure. for this year? He was suspended at one point, but I don't know what it was. Ian, do you remember? Uh, I don't, but I can look it up here. So, Chase Young, everybody, the second overall pick in the 2020 NFL draft. Somewhat of a homecoming from Ohio State. Uh, Last year, he had – he had 49 oh, – sorry, 46 total tackles, 32 solo, 14 assists. He had 16 wow. and a half sacks. Uh, he had six forced fumbles. So, this this guy can do it all. Uh, out of Ohio State, he was he was lethal. Uh, Wasn't he a Heisman candidate? Yeah. Yes, he was. That's he crazy. Was. Yeah. 
And you know how you good F you have to be to be in the contention for a Heisman as a defensive player. Oh, yeah, I, I wonder I say. wonder how many times the first two picks were kind of hometown guys. Yeah, that's true. Probably not very often. Yeah. Jeez, he's just bigger than everybody else. He's a machine. Look at how large this guy is. 77 is a Watch big him. He's dude got here. Right there. Oh, just, man. See you over the later. Edge. Yeah. Good luck. That's a big man. He's going to be he's going to be good. Imagine how good. No, imagine how scary he's going to be uh, once he starts hitting the NFL weight room and he gets into like a professional workout. Yeah. Oh, good man. Good luck. Oh, Jeez, he, oh, he did. They were going to bring a guy team. over. They were going to bring a guy over to double team him there, and he just beat him to the punch. He's like, "What do you think?" Suck it, Griff. Suck it. Oh man, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh yeah, when. Ohio State blew it in the friggin' whatever. It's all right. I had no problem with that. I'm, I'm, I've never been a big That Ohio was a hell of a game, though. That was better than the national title game. National title game took like five hours. I know. It was like this, the first half was ending, and I was like, all right, the game's over. Two minutes left. What are we doing here? And then realized it was. I thought the first half went pretty quick, and then the second half just took forever. Who's the Johnny Cash looking guy in the picture? I was just going to ask you about that. <laughs> I wonder if it's like someone who couldn't be there. Comparing or him to Jadavion yeah. Clowney. That That's makes bad sense. news. Clowney was an NFL bust. I wouldn't call him a bust, but uh, he was he certainly a, not as good not as, as people good said he was going to be. As he, and Teddy, Teddy Bruschi called that right away. He said he's just not smart enough. I mean, we all remember Jadavion uh, in, his, in, his, in his role. Oh, at, oh, man, yeah. At South Carolina when he popped the – the helmet off, of, uh, yeah. In the Uncle Stephen yeah. wants to know who who we think the Patriots should take. I've uh, I've heard it all day, and I'm a biased, full on bias. Tight end, Notre Dame, Cole Komet. Okay, I think that's I think that's fair. Honestly, biased. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know a lot of players but I think we should uh, address linebacker probably. I don't understand now, uh, what this DeAndre Swift idea is coming no. from. No. Because I mean, if boosh. we – so, so like, well, no, I've heard – there were some people – I saw some mock drafts today that said we were getting DeAndre Swift. So, I mean, I like DeAndre Swift. I think he's a good running back. But we don't need a running back. The, we have five on be, the roster. Yeah, he'd be, he would be the fifth on our roster. Yeah, okay, yeah. Burkhead, White, Michelle – Williams and Bolden and Bolden. So yeah, he'd be six. Does Bolden no really reason. count? I mean, yes and no. I'll Pick count him in. Five, five and a half. <laughs> five and a half. Rock City. Get up. Uh, yeah, All right. Guess. So hold on. The, the projection here for the Lions is uh, cornerback Jeff Okuda from Ohio State as well. I was Corner? expecting to. I was expecting. I was expecting a trade corner. out here by corner. Okay, Matt I was Patricia. expecting a trade out here by the by um Detroit. Also, I would I I wouldn't be surprised Detroit went after a quarterback. Stafford broke his freaking back last year. Yeah, you remember uh, that? There you right, go. Here, here we go. Here we go. I do right. not know much about this guy, but neither do I. Cor- corners are a tough thing to scout. So, so that's corners go in number three. Two Ohio State players in the top five. Ohio. Oh, that's three. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. Grand Prairie, Texas. Well, that's sad. Yeah, geez. Not particularly things we want to see during the quarantine. We're trying to get away from sadness, ESPN. Hey, no, this is a bit of a happy story. I mean, it's sad that she passed away, but, you know, that didn't hinder him from living his dream, becoming an NFL draft pick. I fought a good fight, and I've done something, it said. So, Okuda, right? He was a junior, yep. so he four four won his final year of eligibility at Ohio State. I can see why. Uh, 
Last year he had 35 tackles, 29. Oh, he's solos. doing the John Cena. 6'1", 205. Yeah. So yeah, just watch mm-hmm. watch, watch this guy play here, right? He's gonna drop back. The guy gets behind, all of a sudden, boom, comes up, knocks it away. Like it's he's good. got such quick reaction speed. He's got good close. Cut. Yeah. Good closing speed. He's a big boy. For a corner, usually corners are kind of oh wow, that's that a great play. There. Yeah. All right. So he had uh, two forced fumbles as well. He had three picks, uh, nine pass deflections. So I mean, you know, like Cam said, corners are hard to scout. Other yeah. than you know being able to think fast, react quick, get off the ball, read the play. Did you see a pick that he had there? Was that he was certainly about, lives up to his uh, number. Yeah. What number is he? One. He was number one. Well, no, he's number right. three. Cameron. Well, now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt Patricia's Man. like, damn, I don't know who this guy is. He's His son kid. does not look thrilled to be there at all. Dude, you're on national television. Look a little more pleased. His dad. National wanted, television. How about son wanted him, television? His son wanted right. him to take Tua. <laughs> these kids. See, these kids know what they're doing. They know they're on TV. But that's the only reason they're there. These guys, you know, couldn't have dressed up for these pictures. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Do you deal. think they had them send in pictures and that's what they sent in? Dude, this is so weird. Yeah. Are you going to go my way? All right. So we're going to get our first commercial break of the night here at, uh, after get the your nachos. Picks, so get your drinks. Joe, Joe Burrow, number one. Chase Young, number two. And uh, yeah, Fokuda. Fokuda, number three. To Cincinnati, Washington, and Detroit, respectively. The Giants are on the clock. Ooh. I'm going to turn over to the NFL Network and see if they actually have break. Chris Aliano, we hope you draft the worst player in the draft. I know. I hope, I hope they draft Chris Aliano in the draft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How would that work if they just draft some schmo? Like, can they do that? No, you have to declare for the. You have to send in like a thing declaring for the okay. draft. All right. You have to, yeah. You have to be eligible for it. No, dude, they're gonna draft. Um, who's the Merrimack quarterback? Christian Carter. Well, no yeah, longer the Merrimack quarterback. Christian Carter. Yeah, he got. Bill was Bill was scouting some Merrimack people. Who knows? What are you talking about? He was drafted. He was scouting some Merrimack uh, players. When? Fairly recently. That was the cross guy. Fellas, Sean. No, something Sean's, else. Sean's oh. like, oh, you guys should have had me on for some college football intelligence. Hop in the draft. Is he in the chat? Is that what he's saying? Uh, he's, or is he texting? He, he's on Facebook. <sighs> Bum. Well, tell him to get in here. All right. Hold on. Be hold a man on. about it. I'll, 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 I'll extend him the invite. Maybe not busy. actually in here, but like, join the chat. Well, yeah, he's too bu- he's too busy eating Taco Bell. Giants still have not picked. Oh, let's let's do this, fellas. Let's extend them the invite for 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 a segment. Okay. When, uh, when this comes back, we can get his thoughts on Tua and where he's going to go. Sure. Get, get his Alabama perspective. Tua yeah. trash be alone because we definitely need that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pete just texted like, me. Peter Cohan, friend of the show, just texted me. Tua, Tua, blah, 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 whatever the hell his name is, will not get drafted tonight. Tua, will not get drafted tonight? Yep. So Pete hasn't fallen out of the first round. Yeah. Put that on the cold takes list. Well, we're going to find out. Mr. Astros in five, Pete Cohan. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Mr. I'm taking Oklahoma to upset LSU. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Hey, I never ran away from that. What's up, fellas? Coach, How we doing? What's up, pal? How are we? Welcome, oh, Sean Kacharski, to the live stream. Give me a hot sack, eh? Oh, boy. Here. He's got to put his makeup on. Presentable All these camera. friggin' commercials. Dude, I've been able to hair for like months. Bro, look at this mock. Summer. I'm with you, man. Oh, fuck. Speaking oh, of the last dance, 
eight of the episodes have leaked online. Really? Eight? Really? Yeah. The uh, six, uh, six of the last eight episodes have leaked online. So, so, so Sean, those. we just, we, we just had a fan uh, comment to message in that two is going to fall out of the first round. Thoughts? That person needs to get their brain examined. <laughs> yeah. When do you, what do you, where do you see him going? Honestly, I see him dropping the 10. The 10? Okay. Someone's, I think if Miami doesn't take him right now at five, mm-hmm. it's going to be a replay of the movie Draft Day. So, ten, uh, oh, the Browns? Think something's <laughs> wrong with him. Right. And then just, it's just the domino effect until the Miami probably trades up to get him at 10. By the way, Sean, 10 would be the Browns. So, that would be how that is that, is that your TV in the background? There's a good chance that Miami would probably trade up if you draw if they let him go. That's at a top. good point. Because doesn't they, Miami have like six picks? They have in the three first picks round or in the something. First round. Yeah, three. They got five, seventeen, and twenty-six, I believe. I know it's, I know it's five and twenty-six. I'm, I think it's seventeen. Yeah. So. uh who, who's going to – do you think two will the be the G-Man. first Bama player Bama, to, get, to get drafted? No, because I think our offensive lineman, Wills, is going to get picked right here by New York. Okay. Well, let's see. Pick is in. Who do you, you think is going? Wills, our offensive lineman. From where? Alabama? Alabama. Roll damn time. That's well, not- we know that the Giants are going to need protection for Mr. Uh, Josh Allen. Or not Josh Allen. Oh, they hired Joe Judge. I forgot about that. What's his well, name? That's what I'm saying. They, they got to get some For protection. Daniel Jones. The boys got to get some protection for him. And Wills, Wills is like the best lineman available. So, why the hell not, right? They haven't had a good offensive line since when, when they won 2011. Yeah, the fucking last time they smoked dust, so we can't really talk. Yeah. Dog eat dog world. Look at that dog. That's a cute dog right there. I hope Joe Judge does well. I I always find myself rooting for old Patriots coaches. Yeah, man. Except like his, that guy sucks. I like his NYPD hat. Coach got a little dog right there. Look. His name's <laughs> Buff. What's his name? Buff. Buff. I love it. Like big buff, literally buff. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, what happened to Gettleman's little photo behind his desk? Coward. He had a little. He had a little picture. I don't think his TV's big enough, fellas. No, absolutely not. Kuiper is drenched in sweat. Look at this guy. I think that's the gel that is on, that he put in his hair. I think it's just running onto oh, his. Whatever face. it is, he's got a sheen on his forehead like I've never seen before. He doesn't have the protected lighting from a draft set. Right. He doesn't have a guy room. coming in every commercial break, powdering his face up. Oh, here we go. Come oh, on, G-Man. Man. What are they, G-Men? Here we go. Boo. Boo. Wow. They went Georgia. Go, dogs. That's go, dogs, Connor. Go Andy dogs. Thomas. Go nice. dogs! Stuck sure. on that one, Sean. I mean, dude, hey, I'll, it's on to the Pats. I don't care. That's true. Well, Sean was right. They took an offensive lineman. They did take. So a he line. gets half credit for that one. Hey, the last Chris Slade season. Hell yeah! Wow. Former NFL defensive end for the Patriots and Panthers. He was a percussionist in his in his uh, high school band. All right, we got Hell a drummer yeah. on our hands. Here we go. All Maybe right, that's why he's good with it. Maybe that's why he's got his quick hands. Right. We got five people in the chat. Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you got any questions for us, let us know. Uh, we have or, special guest Sean Kucharski here. Or any chirps for me. NFL draft live oh, stream yeah. for a little bit out of Alabama. You know, he's a big Bama fan. Probably knows a little bit more college football than me and Cameron. So. Alabama enthusiast. Roll tide roll. Sean, right here. My my hot take. Mm-hmm. Oh, we love our hot takes here. If it's not Tua, mm-hmm. they're going with Wills from Alabama to feed up that offensive line. So, so it's then, a ba- it's a Bama it's a Bama guy either way. 
I think it's in in my honest opinion, it has to be Bama because I don't. As I mean, they're not going to take a running back to the twenty sixth pick, and that's going to be Swift from Georgia. Go dogs! My guess. Yep. I just feel bad for Josh Rosen. Nobody believes in that guy. Arizona What's didn't believe, believe in him, and Miami's not going to believe in him because if they Miami take two, Miami kind of that... gave him a shot. Kind of, but with an zero and ten team, when you take starting reins, <laughs> I don't fair. know what that really means. Hard to as say. soon as as soon as I asked for for questions and stuff, two people left. Had a boy, Connor. Clearly, uh, they didn't have anything. Clearly not. Oh, get the mask, oh, got a mask on. on. Oh, Dude, oh, what do you oh, need a mask you're for? You're in your house. Your home. Hey, 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 hey. Anything can any, – you can catch it from anywhere now. Unless, unless he's quarantined in his house because somebody has it, he's absolutely making a joke to the kid. Like, oh, this is the sign of the time for it. And ha, ha, ha. Joe Judge just ordering a pizza. He's not actually calling anybody. Ooh, PUBG plays. Uh. These player models straight out of, like, Madden 05, just with the bob around. Fellas, you want to hear a hot take right here? Oh, do I? Of course. I'm always down for it. Justin Herbert is going to Miami. The quarterback? Ooh. Nope. From Oregon. Justin Hubert. So you think he goes before Tua? I, I, yeah, I think, yeah. I think Justin Herbert. 21 starting quarterbacks for Miami since Marino. Yikes. And how many coaches have they had, too? Weinstadt, Saban, Cam Cameron. Flores. Flores. And Uh, then that's just me remembering out of order. Yeah. I'll tell you, though. A bunch of nobodies. The only problem playing in in Miami is, one, they suck. And, two, they're jerseys. But you get to play in Miami. Maybe that's why they've stunk for so since Marino. And their broadcast oh, there's is Bob and Oh, two is, two is not going in the first round with that suit. Holy cow. Dude, he's, it looks like he took Bear Bryant's hat and turned it into a suit. Yikes. Alabaster, Alabama. What a, t- what a name. What a, what a house, though. Is that a pool yeah. table in the back? Oh, I would oh, just be doing God. that. Right. I always love the Hawaiian I'm gonna, stuff. I'm switch over to my laptop so I can entertain. Love Give it. Give me a hot sec. Okay. Geez, Miami still hasn't picked yet. Who could it be? Yeah, Florida. What up, Flo? He's got a Florida. BC hat in the background. BC hat. Oh, there's the there's the football in the background. Dude, this kid on the right looks real thrilled to be there. <laughs> Wait, does he have like an engraving of the Dolphins logo, or is that like a graphic? It looks I like think it's an that... engraving. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. I really hope that he does well. I'm a big fan of. Uh... Mr. Brian Flores. Me too. Do you think if Flo was the court, uh, the quarterback, the coach of the Patriots right now, that Brady and Gronk would be here instead of? Yeah, maybe. Would that be wild? Well, right. there was. Well, kind of remember there was the hot rumor for a year that Flores was the next in line. Yeah. But then he got the job. So that. What kind of dip you got in? Yeah. What? what kind of dip you rocking over there? Got a uh, a taco casserole made by the uh, one and only Anna Berry. Love it. Keeping you well fed over there. Oh, See, buddy. <laughs> I I don't know. They're 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 talking like they're picking two right here, but I think it might be Wills. I can't wait for it to be like. <laughs> some, I can't wait for it to be like, Justin like, Herbert from random, Oregon. Random. The Miami Dolphins select Jake Fromm, quarterback. Yeah. Oh my God! Imagine Jacob. Eason. I love Jake Fromm, but he is not a first round quarterback. He needs to you, develop. Man, imagine if Tampa gets like just jumping out of line. Imagine if Tampa gets a guy like Jerry Judy. Tampa's a bad matchup. Tampa Stop. would be a bad matchup. Tampa's Tampa's about to give the Pats their pick so the Pats can get Judy. <sighs> I wish, dude, that'd be awesome. I'm, I'm telling you right now that that's my bull prediction. We'll trade him. We'll trade him, uh, Nikhil Harry. When was the last like escaping. high round? Like I know we got Nikhil Harry, but before that, on a I wide receiver was with High Tower, pick, pick is in, fellas. Branch. Deion Branch, with High Tower yeah. and Collins. Oh no, Connor, Chad Jack. Well, Chad Jackson was second round. Dude, are you, are you not listening to me? High Tower. Yeah, we're talking wide receiver though. Oh, who the hell cares about that? Well. 
me now because the Patriots have none. True. We have Edelman. That's it. Edelman, Nikhil I, Harry. We just got that I heard guy. A, from I heard him. a rumor that the Pats were interested in getting Chris Hogan back, but Chris Hogan can't move anymore. Yeah, no, he's not what he used to be. He's too old. I like how ESPN's like, how many on-screen personalities do we need? And they're like, everyone. Here we go. Bring Here them all go. in. Here we go. Ooh. Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football team. Come on. Uh, there you go. Uh, wow. Roll. Okay. Wow, number five. Ian had the hot take. No, Sean did. So the Patriots will not take Tua. No, Kucharski was – Spot on. He said if they didn't take two, they were going to take the offensive lineman. They took yeah. two. I know, and you credited you credited me. So you said that I had the hot take. Yeah, that was hot as hell. You said Hubert was going to get drafted. Wow, just show all those that would go in, in our intro. Ian. It's cold take, you dumb. You know no, what? No, it's a hot take. You know, I guess That's you're right. Look at all those injuries. Just take a dump on the guy, why don't you? And a tough year. Best best pick of the draft, right there, boys. Oh uh, no, so, so Sean, oh, so Sean, did, does this mean that you're now a Miami Dolphin fan? No, but but it does mean. Let's go, Fins, baby. Oh, <laughs> they're they're your number two team. They're my number three team because I, in my defense, in my defense, I have always been a Bucks guy, Buccaneers guy because of Mike Evans. Okay. After him and Darnie Manziel went up Alabama, I'm gonna I'm gonna need confirmation of this. You can check my fantasy team for the past six years. Okay. Every year in Mike Evans. It's been work. a pipe dream of me and my family to go sit in the uh, the, the pirate ship. The pirate ship. <laughs> I never did. Um, this year may be a better, uh, no better year than ever to go down there, except you know the whole coronavirus situation. Well, WrestleMania was supposed to be at. Uh... WrestleMania at Raymond James Stadium, and that didn't happen. Hey, call it a hot take. Yeah, the Dolphins are winning the division this year. Oh, come oh, get out of here! Oh, damn. Get out of here! <laughs> I put the Bills ahead of the Dolphins. But... I mean, you you can say that now, and it's wild. Well, well, you know, after the draft, we can have a better conversation about it. But right now, well, just because they got two, it doesn't mean they're going to win the division. They still have no defense. Does anybody in our division have defense right now? The Bills. Patriots. We have the, the worst have point seven defense. in the league. I, I'm not even saying yeah. the Patriots. I would say the Bills have by far the best defense in the division. I was going to say because the Patriots have like the worst front seven out of the out of our teams. I think to be honest, who do they have left? High power. So who's uh, LA going to take? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tua, you look you look great, man. Yikes! So, so, I, so the, so the Chargers are the Chargers are taking Hubert, correct? Hey, Ian, by the way, got a problem. They got a boys. What's up? So, please tell me you just saw Tua's house. I did. Yeah, the, the, that's from all the money that Tua got from playing in Alabama. Yeah, he didn't have to pay a dime. Guy got paid a ton. Shout out to all the boosters. And I Mark right. Brunel. Mark Brunel, oh Jesus, the guy who cried Uh-oh. about. The Hold Patriots. on, so it's it's confirmed that we all think it's Herbert right now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I try to make sure we're all on the same page for that. I I see a lot of Steve Young in Tua. I won't lie. Just hope he doesn't have the career ending that Steve Young had, where he got yeah. flattened. Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel. No, Mark Brunel was not as good as Byron left, which. I hate this argument. Are you ready? Why? Or David Gerard. It's like, oh, well, Tua had three NFL weapons in college. So it doesn't matter. Guess what? Dude, I have a hot take. He's playing yeah. in the NFL right now. He's going to have NFL weapons right now. What's true. He'll have NFL weapons in the NFL. Yeah. What? That's not his fault. <laughs> the guy at how, dare, how dare he play on a good team? Dude, the guy at Larry just has just got an extra three years of NFL weapons. Boomer has the most t- pass touchdowns by left-handed QBs. Oh my! Michael Vick should have been the best left-handed quarterback. Ever. Boomer. 
Too bad oh, yeah. Shout out to Pete for saying Tua wasn't going to go in the first round. Oh, yeah, Pete. Bye. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You guys frozen. Just take Jeebus. So Have fun on the, the Southern Hemisphere. Have fun on the intro, guys, buddy. Guys living like Captain America in his, in his uh, shield, frozen in time. Yeah. Megatron. His brother in the back looks real thrilled to be there. He's like, can you turn the cameras off now? Can I Can I get out of this? Well, that suit is god off. He goes to Alabama, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's going to be the backup. He's not going to Who's, start, who's the quarterback for Bama this year? I don't know. And who's, is Bama going to suck again? No, there's no way. I'm for it. Well, what, would qua- it. what would quantify as sucking? The pick is in, folks. All right, so, so we're all saying Herbert here? Herbert. Yeah. It's got to yep. be. If, it, if it's not, I am shocked. Because they need a quarterback. Who do they? Carolina's taking, or, yeah, Carolina's taking Judy for sure. Carolina's going to trade, I think. Trade to us so we can take Jerry Judy. Actually, I think Carolina's going to go defense, Connor, to be honest. Yeah, they're not yeah. going to be a quarterback. We know that. Ooh, they got Aaron Rodgers. He, I hate that guy. Brady, Brady Quinn. Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> what an irrelevant name. Gino Smith. What another irrelevant name. Go Irish. Go Mountaineers. You know, it was so awful. Never forget he got knocked out. Johnny, Johnny football, football. Baby. I just don't understand. Like, my buddy is like trying to say, well, he had NFL wide receivers against college defenses. It doesn't matter. He has matter. NFL wide receivers. He has. Yeah. An, he has. Well, here's the thing: if he played with crappy wide receivers, he wouldn't be as highly touted. You exactly. And for being honest here, to be honest, I would have taken Burrow. I would have taken him over Burrow if, if Tua wasn't hurt. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I, I yeah. the only reason, the only reason why Tua's draft stock dropped is he got hurt. He was the consensus number one almost the entire season. Yeah, be, and because Tua has. Tua played with four wide receivers who are going to be number one draft picks for Remy first round draft picks in the next two years. Smith, Ruggs. What are you doing, Cameron? <laughs> Cameron's a mess. Use your fingers, man. Oh. Cameron's giving me a concussion. I'm using my hand to hold up my iPad and my other hand to drink. All right, can we just do the Chargers pick? I don't have a third oh, hand. Here we go. If you could turn back time. Oh, man. Has to be. Good old day. I'd be stunned if it wasn't. I. All right, here it is. Ryan Leaf. <laughs> yep. All right. It's official. Here we hey, go. There yeah. you go. I like this pick. Hey, Mom. I like this pick. Yeah, dude. They need the quarterback. No, I'm a, I am like Herbert, though. Do you? I don't know much about him, to be fair. I like Herbert. Look at all that food. Yeah, that's a pattern. I like him because he's going to have the chance to throw to Keenan Allen, a really good wide receiver. So last year, Connor, Herbert, he was 286 of 428, good for a 66.8 completion percentage, 3,471 yards. Uh, he averaged... 8.1 uh, yards an attempt. He threw for 32 touchdowns, six interceptions. That's not bad. Passer rating of 156. But guess what? 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 He screwed me in the one game I bet on him. Really? Which one was that? Was that the season opener? No. Nope. I was – I'm a ride-or-die SEC guy when they're playing other conferences. Joey Harrington, Jesus Christ. Look at those old school Ducks uniforms. I miss those old school Ducks unis. I, I miss those. I thought I didn't think I they think were that bad. The Oregon game against Northwestern, actually. Well, all right. So, what are our thoughts on Oregon's unis? Do we like them? Do we hate them? No, I've, I've never been an Oregon uni big, guy over the new big stuff. Big Ducks uni guy. Big Ducks big uni guy. Big Ducks uni fan. I'm well, with you. 
Well, Ian, I know you like the neon for the Seahawks. That's not much oh. of a surprise, but. I just like the 6,000 different combinations of uniforms Oregon can I think – Keep the things reason, real, the, man. Also, the only reason why I don't like Oregon is they have like 60,000 jerseys and they've never won anything. It's like <laughs> if they were winning when it, with those jerseys, it wouldn't be so bad. But, yeah, yeah, but it's a good recruiting. They that, never win. Who, who the heck was that purple team that they were just playing in that highlight? Uh, Washington State. Washington, 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 no, Washington. Washington. Washington, Washington, Washington State's the Cougars. Pur- yeah, purple is wa- – yeah. Yeah, Huskies. Purple and gold is Washington. Washington State is maroon. All right, no Merrimack you, highlights on here, guys. I'm disappointed. Yeah, oh, a what a di- this kid's got an arm, though. We're taking Jesse James or Jesse Jones. <laughs> yeah. See, like, I'm down for that. Jesse Jesse Jones is like a year. He's been a salesman at some law firm or something. So what did they win? I think Washington, they won the uh, Oregon, they won the uh, Pac-12. They won the Rose Pac-12. Bowl. Huh. I think they won the Pac-12 as well. Hmm. It was Denver and Utah, and I think they beat Utah. They did. They slaughtered Utah. Granted, Utah sucks. What is that like his family in his jacket? Is that what he's showing off? Uh, I think it was the palm trees in the jacket, to be honest. Uh, I couldn't tell. All right, all right. So let's say we're – all right, looks like we're doing three picks commercial, three picks commercial. Panthers pick is in, though, so this may be a short commercial. No, they'll hold on to it. They got to get the ad reads in. It's like Ian doing the PA. Yeah. And you're right. And there's, right. Not, and there's no one screaming at us to get it done. That, that's like Ian getting a, it's like oh, a, man. No, no whistles until 12 minutes. You got to get the under 14, and then like two minutes later, you got to get the under 10. I think we're forgetting that I was just coordinating. Oh yeah, man! Yeah. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah. Because Sean, I, we appreciate oh, Taco you joining Bell us. Commercial. Taco oh, Bell. Okay, oh, perfect oh. opportunity. Taco perfect Bell. Time. We're talking hot takes. Hey. Sean, what have you had from Taco Bell recently? This is important. I haven't Taco had Taco Bell. Taco Bell since the last time me and Ian went. Good wow! Man. You got to support local. I I actually bought local plant at the Andover Deli. Well, there you go. Little ad plug. I'm probably no gonna go look for tomorrow. No free ads. All right. So hey, Ian's, hey, if there's if there's anyone Ian, out there who wants to sponsor us, Ian's kicking me off after the Panthers pick. So who do we think the Panthers are taking? No idea. Uh, Jerry think, Judy, man. They're going deep. They're they need. Yeah, man. They need weapons for Bridgewater. For Bridgewater and McCaffrey. Yep. I think they're gonna. Projection projection for Carolina was set to be uh, Derek Brown, the defensive lineman from Auburn. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going off the board, though. Dude, I don't get how Wills isn't taking it. From well, Alabama. Because you just have an incredibly thick Alabama bias. That's all you want to see is Bama guy. Bama. If the first round yeah. consisted of 31 <laughs> Alabama draft picks – you would be the happiest person. Dude, you'd go moon. to sleep like a baby tonight. Dude, well, I mean, the entire Alabama team deserves to be drafted. So, fair. That's not how it works, though. All right. Um, I got in. I'm, I'm taking the Auburn D tackle. Auburn D tackle. I mean, that probably makes sense, right? Like, yeah. who else do they have on defense? Keekly retired. They were garbage on defense this year. Yeah. They need to start building from scratch. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, Teddy Teddy can make plays no matter where, as long as he doesn't get lit up and tears ACL again. Or right. I just want the Patriots to pick someone good this year. See, D- D- Metcalf, tear it up. This is coming from you, ball. Cameron, who, who said earlier tonight that the Patriots are trading out of the first round. I you're can still to, believe you're it. You're trying to re somebody... renege on your. No, if we pick somebody, take. I want it to be good, but I still think we're going to trade out. By the way. I made a deal with the devil today. Oh, love oh. this. I said, if the Patriots get Tua, Judy, Lamb, or Ruggs, I will vote for Joe Biden this year. Oh. Holy cow. Wow. We're not, we're not bringing up politics here. That's that, that stays as far away from here as possible. Hey, fellas, I'm not going to lie. I know this is a kid-friendly show, but Christian McCaffrey's a good-looking dude. He's, he's a great-looking man. He's okay, a looking okay. man. And he's also the highest paid running back in the league now. Okay, Ronick, right. calm down. So. He's good a looking man. man in the NFL. 
Yeah, he's up there. No, I, I, I genuinely think he is. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Pig is in. Never mind. They're just not going to announce this pick. The pig has been in for like 10 minutes. Arizona's pick Isaiah is in. Simmons is the next projected. He's the best well, available that would make, talent. That, well, that would make Offensive sense. Keekly outside was a, linebacker. Keekly was a linebacker. He was middle linebacker, but still. I'm giving you guys fair warning. If they, if they pick Jerry Judy, I want to say something that's not a swear, but it's very mean. Okay. Oh, boy. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thought, yeah. The Too thoughts in. and opinions of Sean Kucharski are not. <laughs> they in no way, shape, or form are, are associated the, with the hosts of Title yeah. Town Takes. But, uh, yeah, you know, get used to seeing uh, Kucharski's face because uh, we're going to have him as a co-host in, in one of our interviews coming up. Uh, one of these episodes soon. Uh, we can kind of spill the beans. Uh, the pick is another, in. Here we go. We have another E. Hold on. We'll, we'll finish after the pick here. Yeah. And, Sean, before we get off, make sure to plug your stuff. I got you. Oh, yeah. They got the, the friggin' mascot. Don't be Judy. Yep. Auburn. Yep. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, but we uh, we got another uh, ECHL interview. We uh, we just had a we won't say who yet, but uh, we we just had a, a great interview the other day uh, with an ECHL player. They uh, those hockey players really love telling their stories, so uh, we got another oh, one. Oh, that's fantastic! Kucharski hooked it up, so we're uh, we're gonna have him on to uh, you know help uh, the conversation. I made sure on. he uh, I I found made sure we went Homer and stayed inside the Merrimack community. Yeah, you have to. That's when you get a start, man. I'm I'm still working on the BC guy for you, so love it. It's all good. It's all good. But we appreciate you joining us here, Sean. No enjoy problem. The, enjoy the rest of the draft. Hey, I'm just saying this right now. You ready? What do you got? I'm expecting to be brought back in when the Patriots select Judy or Ruggs or Lamb. All right. If that happens, we'll bring you back in for oh, for post boys. for post pick analysis. Beauty. All right, boys. I'll talk to you later. Sean, where can people find you on social media? They can find me at Coach Kachar, Coach underscore Kacharski on Twitter, at scooch21 on the Insta. Okay. All right. There you go. There you go. Heard it. Thank you, boys. Talk to you later. All right, Thank Coach. You. See you later. Have a good night. See ya. Bye, boys. Thank you. All right. That was Sean Kacharski, everybody. Glad to see Sean out hopping on with us. Yeah. Yeah, we got Tim Sorota. Sorota in the chat. Uh, he's Tim. Tim says, "Ian, you are the man." Uh, and he says, "So true." I'm not sure uh, to what. Uh, Andrew Murata says, "Sean has some freezing cold takes." That's true. Okay. So, guys, we have we have a we have a tweet from uh, Roberto Luongo. Okay. Not draft NFL related, is it? It is draft related. Okay. NFL oh. draft has to be 30 seconds or less, like our fantasy leagues. Either you know your stuff or you don't. Get in, yeah. get out. Oh, I like that. imagine that. I like that. I never thought I'd agree with Mr. Bobby Lou, but he's 100% mean, spot on mean, with that one. You mean the strombone? Strombone. Strombone. Everybody, uh, by the way, the Cardinals are up. I have a friend who's a Cardinals fan. Shout out to my buddy Matt. I hope they pick someone he's good. He's a Cardinals not... fan? Yeah, he's a Cardinals fan. What? Well, he likes disappointment. He's a Habs fan, an Arsenal fan. He likes the Expos, oh, Cardinals, Oregon. Just a bunch of disappointment. So it's right on uh, with that. So uh, Tim Tim is calling uh, Kucharski a homer. Uh, he is no. a homer. No. Um, Joining us so. now, we got, we got another guest joining us here. Who do we got here? The one, the one and only, oh, Stephen Boshane. Steve, Uncle Steve's oh. in the chat. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are we doing? How we doing? <laughs> now you can chirp camera to his face. Yeah, I'm all for it. Can't oh, hide can. behind the screen now. What's your deal with Charlie Coyle? Yeah, let's let's get yeah, in. Yeah, let's, this let's is do it. Bad time, but this is never a bad oh, time man. to chirp camera oh, about Charlie. What, Coyle. what what isn't my deal with Charlie Coyle? 
Overpaid, <laughs> overrated. <laughs> Not as good as Ryan Donato. <laughs> yeah, absolute meathead, Cam. Hey, listen, I, I've never, I've never denied those allegations. That's very true. At least you do stick by that, Cameron. I will say that. Good, bad, or indifferent, so, I stick by my takes. So, so what, what's your beef with them? I just really like Donato, if you want the real answer. Which is the foolish answer, because guy might be the worst the Frank answer. for Toronto. He has a similar amount of goals, man. What are you talking about? What do you mean similar right. amount of goals? Damn. Cardinals pick. There you go, outside linebacker. Right. Isaiah outside Simmons linebacker, from Clemson. Dude, out, him and Chandler Jones, that's going to be a good, oh. good defensive line. Watch out for Arizona next year, man. I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? It, well, actually, no, they did get Hopkins. Yeah. They have Kenyon Drake. Yeah. If it's like Fitzgerald isn't as good as he used to be. and That's true. You know, Kyler Murray, you know, you never know. Sophomore slumps a thing. So, Uncle Steve, who do you think the Patriots are getting? We, we've, we've spewed our answers. What do, you, what do you think? Well, I don't know if you saw my response to Cam, but I definitely agree with him. Although I'm having a heart attack just agreeing with him. But <laughs> go offensive. Yeah, they, these Absolutely. guys also have heart attacks when they agree with me. Yeah, Doesn't it's that tough for often? us. It's real tough. But you know, sometimes you got to swallow this your pride. This guy took seventeen now. snaps at corner. Wow. This guy, yeah, this guy corner does it all. and corner and safety. What the does hell? Does it all? Does it all? Dude, that's so gonna be a sick was, mad. Connor, when they released the, the when they released the out of position mutt cards next Madden for this guy. Mm-hmm. So he was crap. the uh, 2019 Buckus Award winner for the best linebacker. What? He was, a, he was the unanimous All American at Clemson. He had 67 solo tackles, uh, 37 assisted tackles, good for 104 in his 2019 season. He had seven sacks, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and three picks in his 2019 campaign uh, at Clemson. I'm trying to figure out who Jacksonville is going to take. Yeah, I don't know. Jacksonville needs help everywhere. I'm trying to figure out would they take a quarterback? That's the question. No, I think uh, what's oh, his name? Please don't Garden show Minshew. highlights from that. Please don't show highlights from this game. Oh yes, yeah. I've already it blocked it out of my mind. Light him up, Suck light him it. up. Let's go. Oh, oh what happened was, there, Cameron? No, that game was miserable. That was worse than the Alabama game. The oh. Alabama game, I was kind of just happy to be there. That game, I thought we had to get a Nation. Chance. That game, I thought we actually had a chance against Clemson. No. That's on you for thinking. Well, granted. Notre we, Dame oh, has a chance Oh, my in a God, his game. T-shirt. What is that? Dead Lisa Simpson and dead Bart Simpson from one of the episodes. Oh, wow, yeah. A great T-shirt. Oh, that's a great T-shirt. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're dangerously close. Getting closer well, and closer, Well, man. Connor, plus Wait, a cameraman. Close. Connor plus Nine. cameraman. Nine. Nine. Woo! Breaking the law. Oh, no. NHL 13 music. Oh, wow, yeah. I like how I recognize music just from the video games that they were in. I'd be surprised if you didn't, Cameron. Yeah, that's yeah kind of my you're deal. the music that's, guy, man. That's kind of my deal. Oh, you're going to do the pick is in right when they cut the commercial? What the hell? It's, they've been doing what that the past this? three commercials, though. Hey, Cam. Yes. You're the music guy. Who's your favorite uh, artist? Taylor Swift? Oh, oh God. I know. I think that might be Connors. Nah, don't get going. Don't deflect here, Cameron. Answer the question. <laughs> favorite Go music? old school. Cam, come on. I'm a big Johnny Cash guy. Johnny Cash is good. Damn. Good one. What about you, Uncle Steve? Uh, Ian knows the answer to that one. Is it Rush? Rush. <laughs> there you go. I had a nice. feeling. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, clearly. Well, I get it from my dad, too. So, I mean, you know. No. Connor? Uh, I love Guns N' Roses. 
There you go. Nothing wrong with that. I think yeah. Joe hates them, though. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> different pill for a different person. If you get to sleep under bed, yeah. you can go eight and eight, just like Dak Prescott. Because <laughs> that's his, that's the number that he sleeps on in eight. <laughs> All right, speak, speaking of numbers, guys, uh, Pat. Record? Uh, over or under nine? Over. Oof. Over. Over. over they'll, they'll, go, they'll, go, they'll find a way to go 11 and five. Over. I'll say 11 and five. Not by much. I'll Whoa. say 10 Ian, and six. Ian, come on, please. Uh, 11 and five. Say, oh, come on. Six. Looking, yeah, looking at their six. schedule next year? Yeah. Kind of tough. All right, hold on. What'd they go this year? Eleven and five. We get the we get the NFC West this year. I know that. Buffalo's gonna be good, man. Buffalo's gonna be better. It's gonna be tough to beat Buffalo. Buffalo with... is your AFC champ, right there. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. So you got Buffalo. You're at Buffalo at Houston. You got to go to Kansas City. That's Ooh, three that's losses. Loss. Uh, I'd give you two. Not the Houston one. I don't know. Yeah, but we right. weren't supposed to lose to Houston team, last year, remember? Yeah. So you got to go to play the Chargers. Yeah. You win that one. The, the Rams. Should win that one. Uh, the Rams sh- should win. At Miami. That should be a win. And then your home schedule, obviously, you got Buffalo, Miami, the Jets. You'll win those ones. Uh, Denver. You'll win that. Vegas. Connor, 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 Connor. Seriously? Yes. What? Buffalo and Miami at home are not a given. Yeah, well, yeah. Buffalo, I, I feel you, but Miami at home? Come on. Buffalo on the road. Miami hasn't I'm beaten us about. in Foxborough. Granted, Brady's gone, but they haven't beaten us in Foxborough under Bill Belichick. We'll see. We'll we see. will see. We will see. <laughs> this is all going to be – this is all on record, so, I mean, we can go back and play this. And oh, we get sure so can. many takes. This uh, is great. I need them. Other, other, ho- other home games – uh, include uh, Arizona and Baltimore uh, and San Francisco. Gonna Fran. lose that one. Gotta You're gonna lose, lose all three of those. Uh, this season, what do you mean, eleven and five? I don't. I don't know about. I don't know year. about losing to Arizona. They'll be good. I think. Gonna lose to the Ravens. Gonna lose to the. You're gonna lose to San Fran. Niners. And then the other lose. the other road games you have are at the Jets and at Seattle. You're gonna at Jets. least lose Jets. one AFC East game. You're gonna lose healthy. to C- you're gonna lose to Seattle. The Pats are gonna go seven and nine. Yeah, Actually, that's no, what I mean. What, seventeen games. Yeah. Sixteen. Oh yeah, seventeen. Right I said now. ten and six. Seventeen but... games. Yeah, I think eight, games. eight and eight. Oh, that's sixteen. Uh, eight and nine, maybe. They aren't going to seventeen games next season. Oh, it's not yeah. next season. That's the year after. Okay. So eight and eight. Right. I think they're going eight and eight. I'm going to hate that when the team goes Wait, nine and eight. you took the over on nine I changed games. my mind. I didn't know the schedule. Now I know the schedule. Eight and eight. <laughs> I'll stick with my You know me, and I leave with my heart. But I, I think about it afterwards. I'll stick with my ten and six if everything goes right. I'm still taking the over. I mean, Bill Belichick still is the coach. We have to think about that, right? I just ass. I don't know about Sidham. He looked pretty good in the preseason game. God bless though. his arm. Because I did go to the, I went to the Panthers preseason game. We didn't look that bad. All right, here we go. The pick is in for the Jacksonville. I hate the Jacksonville logo. I miss the old one. Ooh. Oh. What? Bit off the board, that's, eh? That's off the board. Yeah, that was not on. That's here. They, two cornerbacks in the first ten picks, by the way. They look thrown. Oh no, here. no, this was on the board. This is this is who they were projected to take. Really? Okay. Yeah. Played running back. Wow. Interesting. This guy's an athlete. The step, yeah. The stat that stands out that he's been playing football since he was four. Yeah. Well. Hey, he was only play. He only played quarter corner. His wow, Brown's pick is already in. Granted, so he had he had thirty. He had thirty three tackles this year, twenty six on his own. He had one sack, uh, and eleven pass deflections. What do you think the Browns do? O line? Oh man, I love those Florida unis. They're so nice. 
I have no comment. On the Florida unis or the Browns? Florida unis. I think I like We are biased. You're, you're <laughs> only saying that because, you know, go Knowles. Picking Dylan, off Joe what Burrow. What do you think about the Patriots going after Cam Newton? Pass. I, a one year prove it deal. Why not? Pass. I don't even Absolutely. want him. I don't, one year. I don't no. want him to sniff it. Then again, this is a guy, me, who likes Jameis Winston. So. Me? I'd rather Jameis Cam Newton. No, you're talking about yourself. I know. I said me. So uh, look I'm, at Jay Patterson being bad. There, there are rumors out there, guys, right, that uh, Cleveland may potentially look to make a deal. People are saying that uh, – It says the pick's in. Usually it says there's a trade. Yeah, that's true. I'm surprised there's been no trades yet. Usually there's at least one by now. I know. I thought this was going to be a crazy draft. I think we could see a lot from, like, 13 on. It's got a, it's got a couple in New England. That's why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love the NFL primetime music. It's so good. This guy's suit with his tie just don't work. Don't mismatch, no. Well, because he's got cross lines with his straight lines. Right. You do. That's that's dressing up one on one, man. Oh. Oh, this is nice. He can read really well. He's reading off a teleprompter. Big time. Woo! Yeah! Can't read again. One more moment. Poor kid. He's got cancer. He's rooting for the Browns. Ha, ah, the Browns have no fans because they don't have any on the screen. To be fair, I wouldn't want to root for the Browns either. Oh, my God. Oh, boo. I liked my answer better. Yeah, I knew hey, it. Offensive there he line. Is. I knew it. Will, that's a good pick Sean's, for them. Sean's going I love crazy. That. I love that for the Browns. I think that's a good pick. I mean, Baker Mayfield had no time to pass it last year. No, he did not. Oh, right, Steve, question. How, what, what is Cincinnati's record with Joe Burrow this year? Over or under seven and a half wins. I'm gonna give him five wins. I was five. also thinking. I was also thinking five. What did they get this year? Three, one, or they two, or one three. Win. Jeez. Okay. All right. I mean, that's good. You you get four extra wins. Take that one. It's gonna be a slow it's Cincinnati. rebuild. Cincinnati. Right. Exactly. A slow rebuild. I'll, I'll say six. I, I'm still taking the under, but I, you know. Jeez. Oh, my God. That guy manhandled him. What do we think of oh, this year? Do you think he, he, he does all right or repeat of last year? Of who? Baker. Mayfield. Baker. I, I think a guy like – they need a right know. tackle. Yeah, that's a big. That's what I'm saying. That's a good. It's hard to. Yeah. It's hard to tell if all defenses have figured him out yet. Because he gets, as, many, much, as much as he had a bad season, you could chalk that up to other issues. I mean, if he gets a better offensive line, and I mean, gives him more time to throw to guys like Landry and Odell, watch out. Who's their tight end too? They have a pretty good tight end. Um, 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 Njoku, yes, but Njoku was hurt for a lot of the year. Yeah, but so he'll be healthy this year. Oh, the Jets are picking next. Roll they better, damn tied. They better do the compilation of all the Jets fans booing all their picks. <laughs> all right, Heart so what? Uh, That's a big boy, damn. 
What was is that? Tuka Rask done after the season? After the season or no. after the contract? Expired? No. What's he got? Two oh, years left on his deal? He has this year and then 2020. Yeah, oh, that he may stop after this year, though. Uh, I think no. If we if we somehow finish the season, we win a championship, maybe. Maybe, yeah. If we win, I think uh, he'll call it. But uh, I can't see him, especially with all the stuff going on right now, that I can't see him calling it quits. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's done either. I, especially where I mean, the Bruins they got as far as development goes. They have Swayman down in Providence now. You know, you got Vladar as well. He's gonna keep playing until he has a son. <laughs> Swayman's yeah. the next guy. Yeah, I, I think hope. so, and I, I think it's going to be at least another two, maybe three years before you actually see Swayman up here getting some sort of role, whether it's in the backup secondary or position or not. So hopefully, you can milk Tuca until then. Yeah. Remember when we had Suban? How much of a waste of time that was? What was that? Two, three years? Maybe. Yeah. We took him first the guy round. Was dynamite. The guy was dynamite until he gave up a goal. Then he got the yips. You break it up on us there. What did you say? I said Timmy Thomas was a waste of time for many years until he came up and finally won a cup. That's a good point. Yeah. Did you watch that Zoom call, by the way, of all the players? It's worth what? watching if you have it. The 2011 Bruins did a big group call watching game seven of the final together. It was a lot well, of fun. I, I heard about it, but I, I didn't watch it, but I've been I've been taping the games and watching all the games. Well, it's on YouTube if you want to go look at it. It's hilarious. All right, uh, we got a question from a fan. Uh, Campbell is just taking shots at Marshan the whole time. Clearly, clearly um, new to the chat. Uh, do you think the Patriots draft a quarterback? Or go the free agent route. Where, where, uh, where, where is this? It's a private chat. He's in the chat, but he, he didn't use the actual chat. So it's coming uh-huh. on your end. Is that what you're it saying? It is, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, the what do we think? Um, the Patriots are not going after a quarterback. They're not taking a quarterback in the first round. Yeah. Maybe later. I, uh, I, I, can, I can stand by that. They won't take a quarterback in the first round, but I don't think they go quarterback at all. Okay. I think Uncle Steve, will. what do you think? Uh, not in the first round, no. Connor, where'd you go? We lost your video. Look at the bum. I, I, I think we have lost Connor. That is not good. Oh, there we go. Oh, and he's on a different device. Why do we have two Connor Powells? You guys got me. Oh, we got What you. happened to your other what stuff, happened? man? My iPad died. Shocker. Oh, rest in peace. Your light looks a lot better now on this device. <laughs> really? Yeah. My you phone's clearly phone? better. I was going to say, are you on your phone now? Yeah, I am. Better hope your phone doesn't die. Well, I was charging my phone because my iPad was dying, so my phone's at 100%. Okay. See, next level brain, fellas. Zoom next kills level battery brain. like you wouldn't believe. It drains battery, which, speaking of, I'm actually going to switch, start charging the iPad. CD Lamb. All right, where do we think the Jets are going here? Off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of given. Um. They might take a wide – honestly, I don't know if it's the right move, but they might take a wide receiver. They're like they so have the many pro- people to throw to. The projection here, right, was for uh, Jidrick Wills, who just went to uh, Cleveland. Well, they might take Wirfs from Iowa if they need a lineman. Tristan Wirfs. I mean, it's the Jets. They need a lot more help than they can get at this pick anyways. So, I mean – I'm biased. Take Wirfs. Go, Iowa. Hey, Connor. Yeah. 
Who built the man cave? Who built my man cave? My father. <laughs> Sweet pad. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Get some. Uh, we'll do a quick, quick preview here. We got a, uh, we got a Steve Horgan Viva La Stool shirt right here because we know Steve Horgan, good yeah. friend of mine. Uh, bullpen cop, if, if nobody knows. Uh, we got a uh, Bruins signed jersey from like the entire like, like nineteen it was 1990 or something. So Neely and uh, and Borker on there, which is pretty cool. A we'll, uh, little flipper here. We got a uh, we got some uh, some Bruins paraphernalia. We got Cam Neely, the old Garden. Uh, who's that? Who's number twelve? That'd be Oates, yeah. I believe. No, yeah. oh, Oates, yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, the, we Jets pick, the Jets pick is there. Hold on. Hold on. Mackay Beckton. Oh, oh, no. Well, we were right on offensive tackle. I picked the wrong one. They're going to need a lot more help than Holy offensive smokes. tackle. Holy Which guy is it? <laughs> yeah, right? I know, really. I want that big dude playing OT <laughs> for me. I had a great shirt. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. What is Big man guy? can move. This guy, holy smokes. His mother, mother's a caterer. That's not shocking. Doesn't go hungry. I know, that big dude. Specializes in soul food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for the soul. Six seven three six. Holy cow! Oh, what? Damn. This guy is like, you talk about a brick house. This guy's a definition of it. I mean, six seven three eighty five. Holy wow. crap! He's the one, the only one built like an Amazon. What a winning hand! Jeez, look at him move. He was quicker than Brady, yeah. <laughs> Five ten uh, quicker than Brady. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. That's not very hard to do though, let's be honest. Right. Fair. Jeez, I'm a big guy. Holy crap. Oh, uh, here we go. He's gonna manhandle one of my defensive tackles. Oh. Oh, oh no. He knocked him down twice. Uh, now he's gonna manhandle a BC player. Oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> a little safety, yeah. Jeez, he's just bigger than anybody else on the team. He's a house. No, oh, he's a he's a double house. He's a is a uh, double he's decker a apartment. He's a, a suplex. A duplex car. <laughs> Cheers, Cameron. Not a suplex, a duplex. <laughs> suplex city. Woo! Jeez, his They're father blown. must be huge too. They're blowing out the speakers. He doesn't his, look. He doesn't look almost 300, 300 pounds. His, his father's got to be huge. Why do we have to be the Jets? Why do we have to wear yeah, Jets stuff? How can you do this here. to us? What did I become? Um, oh, those the Jets should have never got rid of those bam, bam, helmets. Bam, bam. By the way, what the uh, the light green? Yeah, the nineties yeah. helmets. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh He's my pushing God. a four by four. Jeez, he's pushing a literal truck up a road. Good luck if you're a defensive lineman. Raiders pick is in the first Las Vegas Las Raiders. Vegas Raiders. I was just gonna say that, fellas. Right? We've been so used to hearing the Oakland Raiders history. Yep. The Raiders. The Raiders. I wonder why – what was that guy at the last pick's name? I wonder why he fell so far. I mean, the guy's a monster. We had a big malfunction there. Like, someone was supposed to answer a question but didn't hear yeah, it. Yeah, no one answered. Yep. Oh, there's the black oh, hole. That. Dude, that thing's sick. Yeah, we, like we got to find hit. a weekend where the, the Knights are playing and the Raiders are playing, and we got to go to Vegas, man. Yeah, that's we could do that. A Mirage, I stayed there. That's where I stayed when I went to Vegas. Nice. Because you guys haven't been to Vegas, but I have. 
Are those John Gruden's? Is that his family? Maybe. Has to be. Oh, Uncle Steve's gone. Thanks, Uncle Steve. Loved having you on. Oh, they, okay. I think, yeah. I think it's. I think his stuff just crashed. That's fine. No, he says it's supper time at nine forty. It's fine, man. We uh, we loved having you on. You were. Uh, maybe we'll. Uh, you'll be a recurring recurring theme on uh, on the podcast moving forward. Unlucky yeah. number thirteen is next, and then Brady. Brady's like probably in whoever the GM in Tampa. You think is, you know, they Judy, have Judy, Brady Judy. come on a Zoom call? It'll break my heart a little Don't bit. Break in the heart. Here we go. How, mu- how much do you want to bet that CD Lamb goes to Tampa? If he falls, oh, Judy. What? Henry wow. Ruggs. Henry Ruggs the third, the first official Las Vegas Raider draft pick. Over Judy and Lamb. So half of Sean's bet is out the window. I mean, it was a Bama receiver, to be fair. A two, a, wow, a four two seven. Damn, this whole freaking thing's been sad. Damn. Oh man. I love John Gruden. He's such a dad. Yeah. How Raiders is it that they pick a fast receiver, by the way? Very Raiders. Darius Hayward Bay. They didn't draft him, but Desmond Howard. So he had 40 catches last year. How loved his fast receivers. He had 40 catches last year for a total of 746 yards. That's a lot. It's good. He averaged 18.6 oh, yards man, a catch. Whoops, see ya. Comparison from Title Town Takes, Connor Powell, Tyreek Hill. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't go that. I mean, not right yet. I mean, he could have. He definitely has the potential. I wouldn't jump off. Well, yeah, the that's bridge. the comparison. I'm not saying he's going to get there, but wait, wait, what? Sam Fran? Yeah, yeah. They made a trade, Connor. I didn't know that. Dummy. Hey, fellas, shout out to uh, to guest Mike Sarge Riley. Uh, yep. The hell with Makai Becton. Give me his father in a wrestling ring. Hey, oh, yeah. Sarge, if he wants to get in here. I want to see I want to see Becton's dad come off the top rope with a big splash. <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy. Or like, a, he'll, no, Connor, his dad doing a moonsault. <laughs> Having him flip over. That'd be amazing. That'd be something. Look at the robe. It's a robot. Wow. Oh, that's an old splice? Yeah. <laughs> He's got his first sponsorship already. Love that. Hell of a – that's some drip moment right there. That's sick, actually. Yep. Good for – Man, Gruden's son standing right next to him in the front there looks so just Gruden's like Gruden's jacked. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you to our health care providers. You are our and the kids stand in the way. Probably MVP. Heroes, yep. MVP. It's true. Cheers to all the health care providers. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wouldn't Don't be anywhere drink. without them. Don't have a drink, but cheers. Cheers. I already drank I already drank my Coke. I got water here, fellas. We're good. I'm actually gonna have to fill this up. So probably I'm thinking next uh 
Next television timeout, I'll yeah, throw to one of you guys. Next TV timeout, I'm going to run and do a couple things. <laughs> the Lone Man Connor show, then, I guess. Oh, they're, wiping, they're getting him ready for his TV interview. <laughs> I really I really don't understand the robe. Getting him ready. He, he got, got a sponsorship. sponsorship. He absolutely got a sponsorship from Old Spice. Uh, hey, he, he's, Tampa, just, he's just chilling out. Denver. Denver's going to be interesting. Guys, this is so great. It's almost 10 o'clock. Because I don't know if they're going to take a quarterback. Think of how fast those two hours just went. Sports are great. I know. <laughs> I know. It's it's already 10 o'clock. It's great. Yeah. How well, How are we doing? Uh, do we have any comments? What are, what are we looking at for viewers here? Nothing right now. No new comments or anything like that. Nothing wrong with that. We're hope, we hope we're entertaining you. Hope you're having yeah, uh, an enjoyable time. We're just enjoy. We're entertaining ourselves. Let's be honest. Yep. And uh, you know, if we can do that, then we hope we can do the same for you. Guys. Is this the first time Schefter's been on the entire program? I think maybe in the Go beginning, on. the pregame show. But also, wow! I never knew he had that many freckles. And again, he's always powdered up, you know. Right. Big time, yeah. Whoa! Trade! They want Judy. Or tackle. Yep. Would it be Wolves then if they're going to take an offensive tackle? Wills is gone. So what? No, Tampa, Wills. Or oh, Wills. Tampa's going to get back-to-back I, picks. No, they would trade. Oh, wait, what? So they're keeping 14? I would think they would trade 13. Can, you, you guys, uh, hold on. I'll check Twitter. I'll see if there's anything out here. Yeah. Tampa Bay. Wow. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Trading with Bucks, sliding back. Tom Brady's on the Bucks, guys. That's weird. Everyone's saying that it's 13 for 14, but I don't know if that's true. Um, I'm looking online here, right? Uh, tr- holy smokes. Is this what I'm saying? Iowa. Tristan Wirtz, yeah, Cameron. That's what I was talking about. Wirtz, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go offensive tackle and then go wide receiver. Yeah. Dude, they Mike Evans, go. Gronk. They give me a human highlight reel. Chris Godwin and Jerry Judy. I might. All right. I'll say it. San Fran. Okay. okay. Yeah. They flipped it. Okay. Let's say. Because they were allowed to do that. I was going to say greatest show on turf. Yeah. Part two. Dude, they couldn't get a better location where you can't see the guy sitting in the window taking a <laughs> picture or no, filming awesome. Bruce Arian. <laughs> that's perfect for Bruce. Let's be real. Oh, that's great, man. Bruce Arians don't give a – don't give a – Bruce. Remember, Bruce that could have been the Chiefs – or the Colts coach, but they stuck with Pagano, and that was a mistake. Hey, that guy's got my microphone. He does. I kind of feel bad for all these personalities. They got like eight personalities all on a call, and they're only going like one at a time, and some guys are just sitting there. Right, like a guy like Kurt Warner's only gone one time. This guy's got a ton. Who is this guy? Louis Riddick. Well, you also got to remember, guys, right? That when when you're sitting there at the draft and it's being held in person, they have that ta- they have that table, mm-hmm. right? They have the panel. Yeah. Come here. Are we getting a guest appearance? Oh, we might be. Salt or Winstonian? Salty. Ah. Uh, do cats listen to commands? No, cats do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. Sometimes they do. 
coaches. Ty, An- Ty Anderson, two minutes hey, ago. Hey. Do, do the Bucks know they can't draft Robert Kraft? Oh, he sucked. <laughs> hey, buddy, no, you're not leaving. You're hanging out with me. Ooh. Look at that salt man. Hey, buddy. Man. Holy smokes. The USA Air Force is so intimidating. Why do you think I'm intimidated by my parents? <laughs> Go Bucks. The pick is uh, in. Did you hear that, guys? They were counting them in. Were they, actually? Yeah, if you, you listen close, it said 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up, oh, Salty's leaving me. I think he wants to go outside. Woo! There you go. Okay, there you go, Cam. Hi. All right. Oh, Cam, get... W. Hey. All right, Cam, we're going to go to we're going to go to the Iowa fan here. Give us give us your inside take and and your thoughts on Worfs and what he can bring to that struggling offensive line that we actually just talked about earlier on this week in an episode. Well, when I went to the Iowa game, this was granted, this was two years ago. Uh, even though like the Iowa offense wasn't that great, they still gave Nate Stanley a decent amount of time to at least make decisions. So, you know, that's like just the judgment on the offensive line in general, but in like, I'm sure he'll do fine. Oh, Oh, I think it's a good pick, man. Is that I a mean, Ford in the front yard? Because that's the only downside I see to this kid. The uh, the really trick nice for school. Brady has always been: can you protect him? Yeah, right. You can give him all the weapons in the world, but if he doesn't have time to throw, it doesn't matter. So, oh, geez, this guy can lift. I know more about uh, another Iowa player. If he gets picked, uh, AJ Empaneza, who was a five-star recruit for Iowa. So, I think he was a defensive tackle. So, if he gets picked, I know a lot more about him. But I do have to say one thing about Iowa guys. Oh, this Whoa. is – watch this, yeah. So if you know how hard that watching, is? If anyone's not watching, he just jumped out of the water. I've got four feet of water under the ledge of the pool, which is pretty cool. So, one other thing I can say about Wirfs is maybe not his – his play, which we'll see right here coming up, but Iowa's draft capital, they always have players who are drafted. Um, mm. Coach. Oh, look at him move wow. the line. Yep. Coach Kirk Ferenz has a great NFL pedigree. Great, okay. great job getting people drafted. Uh, Iowa, wow. even though they've oh never really God. been, Iowa's never really been a contender for the national title, as you guys know, Where's but they've always had good. players come out and get drafted and do well. That's more been what their gimmick is. And that helps when you have a guy like Ferenz who's been coaching at Iowa for about 20 years now. You have that stability. You have a guy who knows he's not going to leave. And that was, a good, that was an underrated tackle. <laughs> that was like Michael Orr from the blind side when he takes yeah. it to the bus. Look at him open up the pocket right there with that hole. Gets outside. What? Pass block. Ooh. Yep, good step down. Oh, I just want to go back to Kinnick, man. Damn. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Give me a drag. That's how I learned about that song. Mm-hmm. Oh, the old. The old end around. Reverse, reverse. My, my friend CJ was at that game. Really? Yep. Holiday Bowl. He said, he said. Actually, I don't know if I can tell you the joke he told me, but I'll keep it. It is a family-friendly show. Yeah, we try to be anyways. Yeah. All right, so that means San Fran's on the clock. Oh, there's a cat on the couch. Oh. Salty's so salty alert. He's just sitting with one paw crossed over the other. Seems like he's waiting for something. So wait, what was the trade exactly? Because I don't think San Fran would just go back a pick without. Any that seems return. to be what it is. That's the only thing they, they talked about. Uh, Tampa Bay probably called them to let them know, hey, look, we want to jump up and make a 
make a trade. And we're not going to take your guy. We're not going to ta- – we're not taking okay. your guy. Here's who we're going yeah. after. Just swap one for one, 13 for 14. Okay. That's it. Fair. It probably would have been more if they would have called him and said, hey, we want this guy, and they would have said, hey, we want him too. Right. So Right, because I don't think that guy necessarily would have went to San Francisco. No. Because there's right, no with, difference. I mean, With that being said, I'm going to step aside here, fellas. Go refill the water and whatnot. I am going to go to the bathroom. The one-man show. Connor, it's all on you, man. Bring in those Connor, views. One man, Connor, one-man band. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the one-man band featuring Connor Powell. Uh, thanks for joining us on this, on this NFL draft night. It is currently 9.55 p.m., so we've been going for almost about two hours now. Um, and I, what I will tell you is it's been fantastic to get just an inkling of sports stuff in our lives, something we've been needing. You know, we've been going for almost two months. I don't I think maybe two months, three months almost at this point. Uh, you know, you lose track of days in this quarantine. So, uh, you know, we, we appreciate all of our fans for tuning into this or, or any episode we put out there. We work real hard and. We have a lot of fun doing this, so uh, we appreciate all the likes, the comments, the views, anything you guys do for us. We appreciate you guys. So, you know, thanks for thanks for tuning in once again, and you know, hopefully we'll get some sports in here soon. But we uh, we got to make sure everything is uh, safe and accounted for before we can do anything. And you know, as infuriating and mad and, and anxious and sad it makes us all that there's no sports in our lives. Gotta make sure that everybody's healthy and everything is accounted for. You know, this COVID-19 situation is dealt with before we go back to life as it was. Because if we go back too early, then this thing's just going to go on for longer. And, uh, you know, nobody wants that. We, we want to we wanna kick this in the butt. And once we're past it, we're past it. We don't want it to come back. You know, everybody's heard about coming back in the fall or whatever and believe what you want to believe. But. Hopefully, once we're past this and we can go on, you know, unquarantine and actually hang out with people again, we can, uh, you know, just do that for, you know, a long time. And we, we don't see anything like this for, I mean, anything like this ever again would be the ideal answer. But unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. Things like this happen every now and again. And, you know, sometimes you just can't avoid stuff like this. And, you know, cheers from Title Town takes to all of our medical professionals and that are uh, on the front lines in the hospitals. You know, um, my mother is a nurse. My father is a police officer. So uh, pretty familiar with the people on the front lines. So cheers to all those people. We, we respect the hell out of you. And, uh, we appreciate what you're doing. You know, I know Title Town Takes is just a small entity at this point. We hope to grow it more and more every day and we're trying to take advantage of the quarantine. So there's my Connor Paul one-on-one show. It looks like my uh, my other co-host Ian Boshane is back into the chat. I'll save you the time from my spiel from here on out, and Ian, I'll send it right back to you. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine what was said during my time away from. The I show. didn't stop talking the entire time. Good for you. Yeah, no, we felt we filled the air. That's one thing we uh, we try to do a lot here at Title Down Takes. We don't like a lot of dead air. We like to talk. No, we, the dead air means dead time, right? All right, what's up, boys? Trying to see Wickers is back. I I nailed it. Oh, Salty wants <laughs> I to go nailed outside. it. <laughs> what's up, Salty? You want to go outside? I guess it's a better question for the fans at home if I nailed it, but I think I nailed it. Meow. Put in the comments if I nailed it or not. Press one if he nailed it. Press two if he didn't. F, F in the chat if I nailed it. <laughs> F in the chat. Can we get an F for respect? Dude, I love all the kids trying to get TV time. I love the kids trying to avoid getting on TV. <laughs> like, God, please don't put me on. Hey, please. Pete, I just got a Snapchat from you. I saw that. Uh, you're going to have to put it in the chat so Ian can read it because I can't look at Snapchat. By the way, I got my water glass. On my phone. I got my water glass. That's from Brady's last game. That's from the Bills game, boys. Add it to the list of Cameron's lasts. Yeah, I saw Brady's last win in a Patriot uniform. How about that one? Pretty crazy. I kind of made the joke when we went. Here we go, folks. Or when the game ended.
Wow. wow. Oh, boy. I like South the name. Carolina. Kinlaw. Dude, Judy is falling. I know. I wonder if anything happened. So Denver's on the clock. I wouldn't be surprised if they took him. Because who do they have offensively? Emmanuel Sanders got traded. So Denver's got Denver has to go wide receiver here. Yeah, I would think so. Because Drew Locke is their quarterback, right? He's he's pretty good. So he needs some weapons. He only had 15 tackles last year. Oh no, I'm sorry. 35 tackles, 15 solo. Uh, six of those were sacks. Damn. Okay. And he had two fumble recoveries. Oh my god! Fuck <laughs> and roll. Woo! Somebody hit the deck. What happened? Either because he didn't he didn't want to be on camera, or he's just incredibly thrilled. Richard Seymour. Wow. That's a heck of a. Uh... Why are you using Jeez. old A and Richard Seymour, man? Why not use young Seymour, who were the beasts? How are we doing on viewers, Ian? What do we got for viewers? What do we got? Two. Anything good? Uh, we currently we have four people. Four people? All right. Richard Seymour on the Raiders. What a weird sight. Yeah, tell me about it. So <laughs> I will say this. At least we are closing on the Patriots pick. So We're getting there, fellas. Real close. We got David, what, Patriots five, center David Andrews announced eight. on Instagram he'll be ready to play during the 2020 season. Yeah. Um, love it. That's what we need. Tommy, come back. Please. You can blame it all on me. Man, wow. South Carolina. Oh, go dogs. Run, Jake. Run. Oh, yeah, Connor, that was the game y'all lost. <laughs> yeah, we did lose that game. And I was laughing at you really, really hard. Even though we had beaten Notre Dame. That was when Blanket Ship missed the kick, yeah? Yeah. The kid that the Patriots are going to draft? Maybe. First round draft pick, Rodrigo tried to blank and ship. Kyle Shanahan. Oh, that's John Lynch. There's Kyle Shanahan. My buddy, Dan, my buddy Dan Bergeron's tuned in. Dan, how we doing? Hope all's Cheers. good, dude. From uh, the uh, the the journal, whatever you guys been doing, plug the blog? it. Yeah, the blog. Yeah, plug the plug the follow, blog. Show to follow uh, Dan's. Dan was uh, kind enough to start up a blog and reached out to me and asked if I wanted to join him. Uh, I can find uh, find our work at the uh, penalty box blog and uh, follow the Instagram as well uh, at the penalty box blog. There you go. Anything and everything hockey related there, sort of a, uh, a spin off, I guess, of Title Town takes. If you if you take away our other minute comments and talking sports related elsewhere, <laughs> kind of more of a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um. I don't know, but yeah, tune in. All right, so Broncos are on the clock. Their picks in Atlanta and then Dallas. So some interesting picks coming up. We're talking Atlanta. about some some fringe teams where one kind of one. I'm, I'm one wondering pick. who Dallas is going to take because Jerry's crazy. Right. Elway, suck it, Elway.
Oh, he totally set that table up for just today. Yeah, give me all the Super Bowl trophies. <laughs> so I turn over to Nesson real fast. They have an old game on. Just thought What's I'd let it with you. Habs, Bruins, game 588. Oh, wow. Wow. That's old. Don Sweeney probably played on that team, honestly. Probably. Hey, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. Thrilled. I gotta go to Bo- I gotta go to Denver. Oh man. So wait, do they not get the phone call before they get drafted, or is it just delayed? You think? What do you mean? Might be delayed. Uh, it's a delay. Okay. They probably they probably got the phone call, and then. Yeah. They just record the moment it's announced or whatever, and they show the reactions. Yep. All right, can we stop with these dedicated to all these people who are dying? I mean, it's just getting me down, man. It's supposed to be a positive, fun night. We're talking about the NFL draft, the first live sporting event we've had in oh, months. Oh, come on! Wow. I mean, it's like I don't, I don't want to yell because it's sad. Oh. The Jerry, Post. Jerry Judy and Drew Locke. You're telling yes. me that you're telling me that John Elway didn't take a tall white quarterback? <laughs> the heck is this? So last year down in Alabama, he had 1,163 yards on 77 receptions. Ten oh, touchdowns. Beast. Yeah, average 15.1 yards a catch. 15? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I thought Judy had maybe had a chance to go to Atlanta, but I could see CD Lamb going there. Oh, imagine the Julio Jones and CD Lamb combo. And what's his name? Calvin Ridley. Oh man! But I think they go defense. No, no one would have been sick as if they had if they if Judy had dropped to Atlanta and you had yep. Julio, CD, Alabama Ridley, wide receivers, three Alabama boys. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> oh, they are not abiding. They are not abiding to social distancing. Hold oh, my God. The phone. <laughs> like 58 million people over. Whoa! There was like 25 people there. Call them up. Arrest them. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Are you going to go my way? I knew there was going to be one person. I knew it. What? Were they at a million people? Huh? Were they at a million people over? Yeah. I gotta, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, let's see what Pete had to say. Well, this should be fun. That was impressive. What was impressive? We should get Boosh in the Zoom. The guy won't even watch our live stream. Why would I know. invite him to it? He goes, I am watching on TV. It's like, yeah. And you have a tablet. You have a phone. The guy finds every excuse not to tune into Title Town Takes. What a fake friend. 
Come on, Poosh. I'm watching it on ESPN. This guy. Whatever. This dude. Didn't you what you said, buddy? Coach is trying to call me right now. Oh, snaps. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why am I upside down? Well, man, Connor's in the upside down. It's like, what uh, is this? Called? You guys are upside. What is going on? There we oh, go. you flipped it back around and it went. Uh, Connor, you should have just left it upside down the whole time. Oh, picks in, boys. All right, fellas, where do we think Atlanta's going? No, uh, sure. I think they go defense. I don't think they'll take. Ju- I don't think they'll take Justin Jefferson. So there goes my wide receiver idea. I was thinking Dude, they might take Justin Judy Jefferson in New England. So they can't take Javon Kinlaw. I mean, the last time we had uh, Jefferson, it was pretty good. We had his dad. Yeah. We had we had uh, Tony Jefferson. He was pretty good. He was on that Super Bowl team. So. <laughs> oh, that's kind of nice. Honestly, we crap on a guys like Batman and um, Goodell, but doing a draft must be so fun. Yeah. Oh, they, they, I mean, Atlanta could still go with CeeDee Lamb. I forgot he was still up there. Yeah. If not, I, I think see, they'll take I could see they can go uh, chase on. I was just going to say either that or uh, Kenneth Murray, the kid from Oklahoma. Yeah. I wonder if C.D. Lamb might be this year's D.K. Metcalf. Yeah. Oh, Pete sent me a Snapchat. I missed what it was. Oh, he was just taking us. It must be cool for these guys' uh, these guys' kids to kind of watch what their parents do. Yeah. Because you usually don't get that opportunity. I assume all these guys are appreciating the extra time at home. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Arthur Football Blake, you literally single-handedly ruined the Super Bowl. You know, actually, I don't know. I found out he does that for most games in general. He goes down at the end. Okay. Winner or lose. It's just unfortunate with the circumstances that happened. I heard, I've had, I've heard nothing but good things about Arthur Blank. Yeah, I mean, obviously, out. some guys are assholes, and whatnot. Here we go, Falcons. Nope, AJ Terrell, another corner. Okay, corner. Wow, three corners like the, in the first sixteen. I was gonna say the fourth, fourth corner, right? But it's the third. Oh God, Connor, three sixteen. Da 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 da. What? 29 and 1 record. That's like not even fair. What the hell? Now the Cowboys might take CD Lamb. See that. Because they're gonna need a they're gonna need a wide receiver to pair with Amari. Yeah. I figured out like what's his name's D de- like the Cowboys defense is okay. Like not great, but if you have a chance to take a guy like CeeDee Lamb. Yeah, you gotta take him. You gotta at least take it. You gotta try to take it. Oh man, I want one of these receivers to drop to New England though, but I think Miami or Vegas will take either one or Jefferson or Lamb. They should. (laughs) 
This damn boosh. <sighs> Whatever. Not a big deal. I ain't going to force him, but. All right, next commercial break. I got a pee. <laughs> Ugh. Oh God! Look at—I mean, that is just the most expensive-looking room I've ever seen. Oh man, I, people crap on Jerry Jones. I love the guy. I think he's great. Of course you do. <laughs> oh yeah, look at your bottom cowboy. Gonna take my horse to the hotel road to the AT and T Stadium. <laughs> Michael Irvin. <laughs> PUBG Cowboys. Yeah. I don't think he gets what, what you're is getting. What are you talking about? He might have to call him. No. Whatever. You'd have to act. I, he doesn't get it over text. You might have to talk him through it. Mike yeah, McCarthy needs to set himself into his camera. Wait, Mike McCarthy's the Dallas coach now? Yeah, so yes. we went over, we went over this last that. week. <laughs> forgot about that. Mike McCarthy's a shitty coach. Wow, family friendly. We're far past that now. It's ten eighteen. All the kids should be in bed. Right. And, and let's be honest here, Cam. You draw. You jumped on and dropped an f bomb within the first thirty <laughs> seconds. Well, no, you didn't this, tell this, me. Is title, this is title. This is title. Town takes after hours. You, you didn't tell me. He texted. We all knew. My phone was upstairs. Oh, my charging. phone. My phone. All right. Can we go to commercials so we can go to the bathroom? They'll do it after the Cowboys pick, I guess. Then we have Miami and Las Vegas again. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> that better be their touchdown song, I'm telling you. That'd be sick. You can't they can't use that as their winning song. The Knights touchdown already use song. it as their winning song. Touchdown song. So whatever. It's not like multiple multiple teams can use the same song. Oh, really, Cameron? So, yeah. like, Chicago and Merrimack can use the same goal song? I mean, I suppose. Interesting. Real interesting. I wonder whatever happened to that Calgary goal horn we held we heard on campus. Oh, yeah. Had to have been a truck. Yeah. But that he was, was honking on that thing, man. CD C- Lamb sponsored by Pizza Hut. Yeah, big time. Look at I like his I like his I like his football card over there in the corner. I think that's kind of cool. Why do people go his, out and get balloons? His girlfriend or whoever, she looks so bored. So she's like, bored. The, she's like, what the hell am I sitting on this couch for? Can I go home yet? All right, the pick is in. Let's get to it, huh? Mike McCarthy. I know two Mike McCarthy's in real. He straightened life. out his camera. A little bit. Oh, he's, he's smiling. And I'm smiling. Oh, smile I hate that song now because I was listening to it when I was sick and I was miserable when I was sick. So now I hate it. Cameron, you might have had coronavirus. Real talk. I don't know, man. It didn't last very long. It lasted like two weeks. I mean, I could have. Could have. It was a possibility. And apparently, like Mike McMahon, he said he might, thought he might have had it. And we right. were all in contact with Mike McMahon. Yep. And I got it, the, or I felt started to feel bad the day after a hockey game. So, Damn. I didn't get it, though. So I feel like if you had it, I probably would have got it. Yeah, but we stayed away from each other. I was like, don't come near me. I'm sick. That's true.
Who knows? I don't care. I'm healthy now, so I could really care less. Help! Dallas Cowboys! There we go. Oh, I was right about that one. An Oklahoma boy going to play in Texas. That'll never work. Cotton Bowl, baby. Where's 32 chain in honor of Uncle Chester Ramirez Jr.? He's born in Los Angeles. No, Louisiana. Sedarian. That's actually a cool name. So he was he was raised in Texas. He was raised in Texas, but went to Oklahoma. Isn't it crazy? These guys are all like way younger than us. Well, when you, well when you were younger, they were way older than you. Huh? That's how age works. I know, but it's crazy now that we're on the flip side. Yeah. Believe me, whenever I watch the NHL draft, I always get low-key depressed because I'm like, those guys. Yep. They're my they're younger than me or my age. And they're like as as weird as this draft is, these guys are getting news that they're gonna get paid millions of dollars. Where yeah. we're just watching these guys, which are younger than us, watching them get paid millions of dollars while we are hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. God bless the United States. God bless the USA. Well, if I get my money, hey, guys, I'm telling hey. you, when, when, when if I get the cat, if I get any money, give this me thing, my money. I'm gonna, yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna link on Twitter. <laughs> Bring me my money. Yeah, that's one of my favorite videos. Oh my god, it's what even funnier catch. because oh Jesus, it's even funnier because it's like nothing he's talking about relates to the yeah. sentence. Like you guys are a great team. You guys should be proud of yourself. Bring me Bring my me money. My money. I think this is a great pick. Give me my phone. Give me that phone. (laughs) That's his burner phone where he has all his mistresses on it. Oh, boy. Nah, she's pretty. That was just funny. All right, Justin Jefferson, are you next, friend? All right, I'm going pee. I'll be back. Have fun. All right. (laughs) Messing up our audio quality. All right. Kind of weird that they have the college coaches' uh, cameras on them. Don't really think that's needed, but okay. Jerry seems happy. I heard he's making a lot of the decisions. So Miami's not going to take a quarterback. Obviously, they might take another old lineman. Honestly, that might or another old lineman. They might take a old lineman because their old line stinks. Yeah. So we got coming up. We have uh, Miami, Miami, then Vegas, Vegas, Jacksonville, uh, Philly, two more, and then us. Philly, Minnesota, and then New England. Is it Minnesota and then us? Okay, Mm -hmm. did not. No, sorry, Buffalo. That's what I thought because Minnesota made it. Well, no. No, no, it Minnesota is Minnesota made it, it, is, it is Minnesota, Minnesota but they got it, it in, they got it in a draft they got that pick in a draft when they sent uh Oh wait, no, Minnesota made it further than us. What am I talking about? Cuz they beat um, the Saints. It, it's the uh trade for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephon. Oh yeah. I still I still don't like that move. I think if they gave up Diggs was a bad move, but Diggs wasn't happy there, so I guess you know you kind of have to move him. Jeez, this commercial. <laughs> of Gillette. If the Patriots draft Jalen Hurts, I'll be angry. I'll tell you that. They will not take Jalen Hurts. I know, but if we do, I will be very upset because he's not good. Jalen Hurts is not a good quarterback. If the Patriots took Jalen Hurts, I'd be very upset. 
Welcome back, Connor. Thank you. Thank you. We're uh, we're moving we're moving locations here, fellas. I should have given you a pit stop we, time. We we're going up into my den. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Move on, on up to the east side. Moving on up. Oh man, this commercial's hype. Gonna transfer a couple things here. Showtime. Fun times in Cleveland again. Dolphins pick is in. Eighteen sixty-eight. Oh boy. See, oh look at that dog on Puppy that commercial. Ball. I'm missing the damn dog commercial. Oh look at that dog. Woo! You are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, get Big Bang Theory off my damn screen. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. I wonder if they'll cover Rodman's famous run in World Championship Wrestling <laughs> when he was with Hogan. I don't know. At Sarge about it and have a conversation. <laughs> no, I mean, in the last day, like he probably he already knows about that. Come on. Yeah, that's true. He had a match against Carl Malone in wrestling, Connor. I don't know if you knew that. Really? It, it was Hulk Hogan and Dennis Rodman versus Carl Malone and Diamond Dallas Page. That's awesome. Come on, the pick's in already. Hey, Angel. It. Those six beautiful banners. I was beautiful. sitting right over there on the right, over there. At the very top Ian, of the Ian, you've never game. been to a Patriots game, right? Not regular season. I went to a preseason game uh, the year after they won the. Uh... No, I've done. I've done all three. I've the done... year after the year after the Philly Bowl, the Super Bowl, or, or I've done three or four. No, actually, no. Sorry, I have. I went to one way back in the early two thousands after they won their first one. It was a. Uh, Game on New Year's Eve against the Dolphins, and it was snowing. It was like ten degrees outside. It was yeah, Vinatieri hit the game-winning kick. Yeah, uh, I don't remember exactly. I was like maybe six, seven years old at the time. It, that sounds right. To, if it was 2002, Vinatieri hits the game-winning kick to beat the Dolphins, and then the then the Bills law or the uh, the Jets beat the Packers to get the last playoff spot. Okay, yeah, that's right. So this is the this is the pick that the Dolphins got from the Steelers. From for me, I've done three. Special. I've done three of four. I have done preseason, regular season, and away game, but I've never done a postseason game. I've never done a postseason game or an away game. Well, it's easier to do an away game when you live somewhere else. True. <laughs> Two thousand four, baby. Oh Chris man, Greer, Chris the Greer, general figure... manager of Miami needs to fix his Wi-Fi there connection. He goes. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he was looking like Aaron Titcomb the other day. A little bit. Look at that hat. It was just the dolphin thing, but it was all white. It was kind of weird. I wouldn't want that hat's ugly. Oh, it's Jefferson. It's an alignman. It's a lineman or Jefferson. He forgot what year it was. <laughs> lineman. Yep. Dude, I thought Austin Jackson played baseball. What the heck? He used to play center field. Boo, USC. Boo. Boo. Oh. Oh, I can't boo oh. that. Grandfather played hey. for the Packers. Wow. I, I, I can't boo for that last fact. Good guy. Donated bone marrow. Jeez. Oh, yeah. They ran a story on this kid on uh, college game day. You know how painful it is to donate bone marrow? Yeah, there was a baseball player who did it. Um, I, I didn't know this story, but there was a baseball player. Matt Caesar, he was a cub. He donated bone marrow to a girl like uh, I don't remember. It was in some country. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to donate bone marrow, it doesn't take that much time to get tested. It's just a quick swab of your mouth and you're out, and you can really help somebody. Quick PSA for bone marrow. Unfortunately, it makes your body really weak. Yeah.
Eita! Oh! oh. Numb me out. Numb me out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Numb me out. Like no, a, knock, knock my ass out. Yeah, give that me all like the a, drugs. That's a, imagine doing that without drugs. That'd be like a torture. How we uh, viewers and comments, Ian? Anything? Nothing new. Nothing new. That's all right. all right. Well, to the people who have stuck it out with us, cheers. Doing it for ourselves, really. Kind of. 12th round pick. They don't do that anymore. Right? There were 12 rounds in this thing. Never forget, Troy Brown was an eighth round pick. What is it now? Seven? There's only seven, yeah. Coach Doug's going to be thrilled. Oh, yeah. Shout out Coach Doug's. Big win against uh, UConn in the in the, uh, what was it, Ro- uh, Rose Bowl? Fiesta Bowl? No. Fiesta Bowl. One of those. One of the big bowl games. Shout out to Coach Doug's. Wish he didn't go to uh, USC. USC, but you know what? If they're going to pay him the big bucks, at least it's not Michigan. Right. Or Ohio State. Or oh, No, I, I hate Michigan more than I hate USC. And that's funny because we still play USC every year. We don't play Michigan as much anymore. Which is a which is a sin. Notre Dame should stick to playing Navy, no, uh, Michigan, and USC every year. Remember, we, we also play uh, well, not as much. We play what? And Boston Michigan College. State, Sorry, Those Michigan the- State. Uh, I think we play BC every two years. Notre Dame's schedule should consist of USC, Michigan. Uh, Navy, Boston College, Miami. Look at the boom, Mike. Stanford, Purdue. Stanford, yeah. The kids. <laughs> Brian Flores just ordering a pizza. <laughs> yeah, he's not no, actually want... making a phone call. That's he two, Cameron. Rule of thirds. What? It's the second time you used that joke. Rule of Look, thirds. man, I, every time it's not funny after phone, the third time. Every every time, uh, every time on, someone's Bush. on the phone in these, I always assume they're ordering food. Oh. Come on, come say hi to the people. Oh, special appearance! Another another animal appearance here, potentially. Say hi to the peoples. Come say hi to the people. Oh, hey. that bird man! It's the bird man. Picks in. That the pick is in. Fast. Uh, I don't know. Patriots are up soon, fellas. They didn't even take that long, damn. They are. Jefferson. Roger Goodell's had tucked into a few, I think. That's kind of nice. They didn't lose their yeah, date. That's good. That's good. Wait, did he say 2020? He did. Yeah. 2021. I'll cut him some slack. If there's any time to do it, it's now. You know? No. It's Roger Goodell. He gets no slack. Nope. Not Jefferson. Dude, Another bring corner. Justin Jefferson to Patriots. Oh, man. He won't fall from he Minnesota could, will Connor, take no... him. Philly might take him. Philly doesn't have any good wide receivers. Yeah. Receivers. Ugh, if we can get Jefferson, Dude, though, that'd be trade. nice. Trade. Trade up. Can we trade Nikhil Harry? <laughs> oh, fellas, sorry. Nice. Mel Kuyper looking really old. Well, he's got the lights on him, but he, he just can't see. It's right in his eyes. Yeah. Dude, look at that room, though. It's kind of dirty. That's sick. It has to be a green screen. I don't know about looks, that. Looks fake. Oh, yeah, the helmets kind of look fake. Yeah, that's fake. It's a green screen. 
Absolutely, it's a green screen. The helmets are the biggest. Uh, Kuiper, yeah. Kuiper couldn't even afford. He doesn't even make. He doesn't make enough money to find himself a nice little part of his house. Well, well, even right. they only bring him out of his cupboard three times a year. <laughs> right. They they put him in a cupboard when they're done with the draft. Mel cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is Daniel Jeremiah, and why has he had so much screen time? Never even heard of this Jamoke. Mike Mayock, very excited. To be fair, if you draft a player and you're not pumped, that should say something. So, oh, yeah, big high five. Yeah. So, it's like with the social distancing thing, like handshakes are a thing of the past. What about high fives? Same thing. Oh, that's going to suck. Fist well, bumps until all this thing's done. Fist bumps aren't as cool as high fives. You can't even fist bump, bro. It's elbow bump. Yes, weenus that. bump. Weenus bump. Everyone's bumping weenuses. You're welcome, fellas. We came up with that one on the spot. Jack's picks Tattletown already take, in. Tattletown takes after hours. Shout out Advocate. AT&T Stadium. The Horn Frogs. Oh, shout out Mac Report retweeted, uh, or tweeted about us. Didn't you see that? Wait, what? Oh, really? Yeah, Mac live. Tottenham takes takes for actually the NFL draft. Mac Report to, one hour ago. Nice. Thank you to Mike McMahon or whoever runs Cheers, that account. Mac Report. It would be Ma- Mike McMahon. Appreciate it. Oh, weekend, baby. This song rules. Oh, so, fellas, this is what's going to happen. We're going to come back to 20-21-22. And then they're going to go Wait to the again. again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Hopefully, uh, the Patriots don't let us down. Jacksonville may pick Jefferson, to be honest. I don't know if they'll take a quarterback, man. No, they got Gardner Minshew. They, you really trust the Minch? Yeah. All Actually, right. no. Fuck him. Because the one the one week in fantasy I started him, he had his worst week of the, his career. He had like yeah, 30 we, points, two straight we, weeks. And then I played him because I was like, all right, I need, you know, Matt Ryan got hurt or Drew Brees, Drew Brees got hurt. So I put in. Binge Connor, it's commercial break time. For anyone who may not be aware, give us a quick rundown of your fantasy season. <laughs> yeah, do it. I had an awful season. So. Let me I lost in the championship thing. game by four points. I don't want to hear it. I won the toilet bowl, which was electric. Connor barely missed out on having to do some stupid dare. Which by wouldn't one have game. happened because we can't travel. I know. So your buddy, so you luck, so they both lucked out, kind of. Yeah. Does it completely go by the boards? Uh, I think it probably will. Yeah. No. If if you guys ahead, if if the guy running your league. Is any sort of decent commissioner? He, My cousin. He, he stands by this by this role and oh, makes sure geez. that it happens. I was going to have to go to a Utica oh, Commons God. game. Dak Prescott's brother just died. What? What the hell? What? Where are you seeing this? Sharifport Times. I've never heard of that. Sharifport, uh, uh, Louisiana. Jeez. Jesus Christ. So much death on this podcast. I what the hell? It, man. Always reporting death. David Ayers. Oh, man. That seems like forever ago. That was only two weeks ago yep. or two months hey, ago. Guys, look at all these people hanging out together. So absolutely no, absolutely no one. Oh, that's a that's an upset dog right there. Yeah, know, he's, uh, he's he's hanging out, waiting for his sister to come back. Oh, Rashik. It's okay, buddy. Come here. Man, look at all those people together. What a time. 
I know. Do See, do that? never, never gonna happen ever again. You say hi to the people. You say hi to the peoples. No. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> at, at at real Alex Barth, the traffic going so slow. We may be able to go outside once it's over. <laughs> okay. Come also, on, Trey Wingo. Like that Cowboys wide receiver is gonna burn the Eagles DBs. Thanks, Trey. Is that Trey Wingo? Yeah, that is Trey Wingo. Jeez, he looks old. Jordan Love, Xavier McKinney, a bunch of other guys. Oh, my God. What the hell, Jerry Judy? (laughs) Dude, I would love Justin Jefferson, man. He won't fall at 23, though. I don't think he'll fall past 20. Here's Chiasan calling it. Hey, look at that guy's Windows browser. Look at that guy's browser in the back there. There you go, Peach. Nailed it. All right. So three teams who probably want wide receivers are up next. Come on. Philly's going to take them. I keep saying it, though. I keep saying they're going to take them. They're going to take them, and nobody's been taking them. So just keep saying it, though. I think Philly's going to take them, boys. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Kids right, so yoked. There, there's still some good wide receivers on the boards here, fellas. Oh, I want got? Jefferson, though, man. I'm telling you. Uh, McKinney, Delpit, Queen, Murray, Jefferson. I love Jefferson so much. Jefferson. <laughs> Jared Stidham, God bless his arm. Needs a needs a weapon. Stidham. So three more picks. Until the, well, two more now actually. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! So I'm looking at the CBS Sports mock draft here, fellas. Right, they had Justin Jefferson dropping all the way to Philadelphia. Well, here he is. Don't speak it into existence, you son of a bee. No, he's Connor's going. Been, Connor's been speaking it into existence all night, and it hasn't happened. Both of you, yeah. you chumbos. He's going to Philly. Don't get your hopes up. Who knows, though? Because then they're going to be a quarterback because they got that injury prone piece of crap. <laughs> Carson Wentz. They're going to they're going to draft Nick Foles, even though he's not eligible. You want some filler, filler? Filler, filler. You want some filler, filler? <laughs> Doug it. Marone is locked. Dude, the in. the NFL the NFL music on ESPN is still the best. That is that is very true. I can agree. Picks the primetime music. Oh, Here we go. Eagles. Shut up, Kim. Yeah, I wasn't shouting out Philly. I was shouting out my soccer team. It's, it has to be Justin Jefferson. The oldest soccer team Look in the world. Look at the smirk on Doug Peterson's face right now. No, he's thrilled because Justin Jefferson is going to be no, – He's on Reddit. He's like, ooh, why? he's on like, am I the asshole on Reddit? <laughs> oh, dude, come on. If they don't take Justin Jefferson, they're foolish. 
Dude, JJ Arcega White size a goat. What do you mean? <laughs> Four receptions. Greg Ward Jr. for AAF. Who did they lose? Jeffrey. Where'd he go? Don't know. Did he get hurt? I thought, I don't remember. Let me see. I thought he got suspended. Maybe. Oh, pick a linebacker, Philly. You won't. Yeah, he's still he's still on Philly. But I can't remember what the deal was with him. To his Wikipedia page. You wouldn't dare pick a, a linebacker right now. He had yeah, a hip injury. He had he's a hip injury. Phone. It's over. Hip injury and a foot injury. And that's what shut Jefferson Jeffrey. is an eagle. Oh. I think it's going to happen here, boys. I think. Yeah. Fun time in Cleveland again. Yep. Would have been good to have him in New England. Well, if we didn't mess up our wide receiver pick so hard last The Pats are taking that safety, I'm telling you. Cole Komet. They're taking the safety. I would hate it if Cameron is right during this whole thing. Oh, if I'm right, you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> so, Cam, you only uh-huh. have one more you only have one more pick. Oh no. Connor, you're you only have one more pick, right? Before you're wrong. Because you thought the Pats were trading up. Cam, right. you, you thought they were trading out. All right, so we're going to find out here in the next next two picks who's going to be right. I think I'm wrong. I don't think they'd move a pick up. Not, not just one spot unless, you know. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Go Tigers! I'll tell you, man, when I went to that Notre Dame game and the LSU fans were there, they were so loud. I'll tell you what, Jim. Jim, I'll tell you what. The crowd was so loud, Jim. 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 <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Where's all this money going to? Masks and stuff? I have no idea. Justin Jefferson. No! Whoa. What? Rager. Whoa. Oh, the freaking phone! Rager, Rager. Rager's good, man. Granted, I only used him in my Madden franchise. Wax oh. Minnesota has to take Justin Jefferson. So, right, you look at the two here, fellas. Justin Jefferson last season had 111 receptions for 1,500 yards, 18 touchdowns. He averaged 13.9 yards a catch. On the other side, Rager... 43 catches for 611 yards and five touchdowns. He averaged 14.2 yards a catch. I'm dumbfounded. So we talked about it, right, boys? We thought Philly was going to take him because they had a depleted. No, Min- Minnesota has to. Diggs exactly. is gone. I, that's what I, was just gonna, I was just getting to that point. You beat me to it. I was just going to say we're talking about the depleted Philly core of wide receivers, but now you look at Minnesota, right? All they have left is Thielen, or what's left of a Adam Thielen, right? Mm-hmm. And Stefan's gone, so he's out the window. What, what else does Who's, Minnesota have? Their running back's good. Uh, Dalvin Cook, former center. Dalvin Cook. Cook. Go look, Noles. guys, we only got one question. You like that? You like that? You like that? Yeah. 
Oh my god! If this was a surprise, Minnesota's taking them. This Jefferson. has been the biggest surprise of the night, fellas. Definitely, Minnesota's going to has to take him. Has to take Justin Jefferson. There's not a chance. When was Rager supposed to go? Not first round, I would say. I don't remember him being. Wait, what was Justin Jefferson on the phone for? I don't know. So Rager. That's why I think Minnesota's going to take him. So Felger and Maz's big board hit again, fellas. They had they hit Rager. Did they? Yep. Where did they have? Did they have him going to Philly? So no, they, no, they they just had they had they when they were doing their big board selection, whatever. I, I guess they hit on him. So I'm on SI right now. The highest they had him going was 28 to the Ravens, and then 34 and 44 to the Colts, 46 to the Broncos. The so guys in the, in the article it says guy. it wouldn't be a huge shock to see Rager come off the board in the first round, but there's so many high on options at that position, it feels like a long shot. So. Obviously, the, the Eagles must like something. Yeah, Patriots are getting that safety. I'm telling you, man, it's Vikings it's pick is in. By Vikings are taking Jefferson. We're going to take that safety from where? Is it uh, Auburn? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Broncos draft pick Jerry Judy and Roger Goodell did a TikTok together. Oh, nice. geez. that's electric. You can look Dov Kyle or Kyleman. You guys follow him. Although you look at it, right, fellas, on the CBS mock draft, mm-hmm. they have Minnesota taking AJ Terrell, a cornerback from Clemson. He's off the board. He's off the board? Wait, no. No, he's still on the board. Now they're taking Justin Jefferson. I guess we'll find out. Good thing is we're not cutting the commercial before the path pick. We know that now. What do you mean? You guys have the idea that they were going to cut. No, you guys said they were going to cut. Yeah, okay. You're right. When Jalen Hurts posts an Instagram video with Gillette, if the Pats take Hurst, Boosh. I'll be so mad. There's so many better players. No, no, Terrell is gone. He went to he went to uh, Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, so they're absolutely going. To I will be irate if we draft him. Pats oh. are getting bored in love, says somebody. No thanks. Because we don't have any receivers, man. There are plenty of quarterbacks available. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to take – I don't think we'll take a quarterback first round, though. Stidham follows him, too. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Sick hair, Melvin Gordon. Jeez. Hey, man, he can't get a haircut. Fair. I'm not going to criticize anyone for bad hair because I know what I've got on my head. Fair enough. Mr. Wearing a Hat. Ian Rappaport, the Vikings pick is in and the Patriots are trading. What? I told you! I told you! What did I say? What did I say? All right. If the Vikings take Jefferson, I won't be mad that we're trading. If what they do I not take Justin Jefferson, say? If we trade the pick. I'm going to be so upset. Why do we always trade first-round picks? I told you because that's exactly what Bill does. That's exactly what he does. There is no better time for first-round picks than right now. Don't you guys know this? I'm telling you. Come on. You guys guys act like you've never seen Bill coach or do a draft before. Tim trading out is his thing. It's what he does. Trading out or trading back, that's what he does. Does it make sense? No, maybe not, but that's what he does. Rappaport saying picks 37 
and 71 for pick 23 from the Chargers. We're not picking tonight. We're not picking tonight. I said it. I said we weren't going to pick tonight. Bring me my money. Oh, I hate that Cameron is right. Oh, God damn it. yes. This has been a failure. Oh, oh Cameron. Oh, Cameron, you can sit there in silence for a moment. <laughs> Look at him. He doesn't even realize. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> oh, man. That's. All right. If it, I will, like I said, if this is Justin Jefferson, I'll feel better. Mm, I was right. Come on now. Oh, he's doing the skull. Oh, God. Come on now. Are you guys kidding me? Oh, it's awful. Justin Jefferson. Ah, Thank God. Thank God. If they if they didn't take Jefferson and then he fell to us and we traded the pick, I would have never forgiven Bill Belichick. Ah, that's probably why he probably found out he wasn't getting him. Right. Patriots ain't on the clock. They trading. Come the hell on, guys! You guys, you guys. There it is. Train alert. You guys shouldn't be surprised. I just w- thought this year would be different, Cameron. I said they were going to trade out. We now have four third rounders. Dude, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. <laughs> we can end the call now. No. What's the point? You guys. All the bad takes I have, they all come back the other way. Come on. Get absolute scenes. Get and Bill, it. we trust. Bush, we're not getting DeAndre Swift. Oh, my God. This guy. Oh, man, man. I'm actually surprised DeAndre Swift hasn't gone yet. What the hell? I'm not surprised. Yeah, I guess. He's Second like rounder. he's a good running back, but I wouldn't say he's great. I would go dogs. Oh, uh, fellas, I'm pissed. I wanted Justin Jefferson so bad. What are the odds we get Thad Moss? Oh, God. Oh, man. Dang, I would have just played PlayStation tonight if I knew we were just going to trade out. Well, Cam, if you want to leave, go right ahead. No, I'm not going to leave. <laughs> it's just I I knew there was no point in watching. It's probably good my dad fell asleep upstairs. If he would have stayed up this late to find out we were trading out, he would have been angry. Oh, the man. Zimmer Ridge Ranch. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that Mike Zimmer lives on a ranch in Minnesota? Yeah, right. Holy smokes. I need to text my uh I need to text Ugh. my buddy CJ. Great pick on Jefferson. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, close. Carney, you're just like the social distancing police tonight. Police. Guess who's right? Guess who's right? Guess who's right? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to take Cole Komet, 37th. Yeah, clearly they think they can fall and still get this guy. Yeah. Which makes me believe that 
that Jefferson was never in the cards. But my thing is, right, other than adding an additional pick, if you can get this guy at 23 and you can get him at 37, why? That's just how get Bill an extra pick, man. I'm not going to doubt Bill because he's always good at picking late and undrafted. That's one thing I won't doubt him. He never seems to be great drafting early, but drafting late, he's really good. But it just confuses me because this is like the, the exact time you need top round talent it's funny connor don sweeney and bill belichick are much of the same when you think about it yeah they go off the board they pick interesting things late but they always seem to at least pan out to a certain degree right i'll tell you one thing i'll be tuning in tomorrow now to see what that 37 pick is if they were freaking trading out of it to get it yeah so when's this? It's tomorrow, right? Is the draft around the second round? Yeah, second round starts tomorrow. I think it's at eleven or twelve or one. Oh, Doug! Oh. Also, shout out to the guy in the chat who said the pass. We're going to take Jordan Love. That's not happening. Jordan Love <laughs> is not going to San Diego. Love is not all we need right now. No, we in LA. Pass. He said he, we were going to pick Love. Kenneth Murray, there you go. He'd been on the board for a while. Oh, no. What happened? I hit reverse on my TV. Reverse, reverse. To the the left now. To the right. Take it back now, y'all. One off this time. Second round doesn't start till seven o'clock tomorrow night. Oh, it's what? done till late. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe folks, we'll can, the other- folks, you can join us back here tomorrow night. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Maybe for a shortened live yeah. stream up until the Patriots pick. Until yeah, at least through like the first. Yeah. How we doing? Any anybody saying anything? I doubt it. Oh my god! I can't believe I got that right. Shut up! Of even, all things to get right, even Wick is dumbfounded when he gets takes right. I know. I read it. I read something the other day, Connor, and I agree with it. If you're not getting cold takes, you're not making enough takes. That's fair, man. That's fair. Hey, I I, I thank you for a lot of the entertainment we bring to the people. I do my best. I think it helps that I actually believe what I say. I'm not doing it for the gag. Yeah, right. I'm not like a Stephen A. Smith or a, a Skip Bayless that has to come up with different things every day and contradict themselves. I'm sticking with what I say. Yeah. Oh, I'm down to 10% battery. Damn. We'll get a charger. But it's all the way upstairs. Oh, God. I'll go this do it in end. a minute. This may be the end of Wickers. No, I'll, I'll, I'll stay on. My I got my phone right here, so. What's with the moose? The moose, I love it. That's sick. I like the maybe surfboard. It's maybe it's like good luck or something. What a freaking setup Rink- Lincoln Riley has, huh? Is what the hell? That's is that? a humble. I'm trying to figure out what that portrait is behind the couch there. That's the humble home, whatever it is. It's a shirtless dude with something. Oh, they just cut right to commercial. Nolens is on the clock. Nolens. Nolens ready to pull their playoff lead. What do we think the Saints do, fellas? Um, on, probably defense. Maybe O line. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know enough about the Saints. I just I don't know. I don't know what they would do on offense. Maybe a wide receiver. Someone to compliment Michael Thomas? Yeah. I knew. Well, let's like, let's see what the Patriots Twitter has to say. What people under the Patriots Twitter has to say. Go to hell. <laughs> I'm so the Stephen A. I'm so sick of these people. I'm so sick of these people. 
Oh, gosh. Well, I will say one thing, fellas. The CBS. Why do we do this every year? Sat through this for nothing now. Thanks. The pay, uh, the uh, mock draft on CBS Sports at least had it right. It did have the Patriots trading it away. They had it going to the Niners. So they got it. They got it two thirds of the way right. They had them trading California it away. Team. They had them trading to a California team. I'm so sick of these people. Oh. No, Connor, I got it. Hold on. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? What is this, the ranch? Yellow stuff. What the hell is going on? I love Stephen A. Stephen A is. Stephen A is a clown. Wow. He's a mean I, machine. I di- I disagree. He's a god. Stephen A is a clown. All right, Connor. I need a I need a Matt Doloff video tomorrow. I mean, he's not wrong. I need a Matt Doloff video tomorrow. The draft sucks. The draft sucks, Mike. I'm gonna please, Mike. You really thought they were gonna take someone in the first round? <laughs> the Patriots in the first round? Oh my god, please, Mike. Maz, what did Maz? What did you think? Oh, I hated it. I <laughs> Tampa's still a bad matchup. <laughs> oh god. Oh gosh. Even though the Patriots traded out, this has been a good uh, time killer. Yeah, I mean, because it's I'm eleven happy, o'clock. I'm happy that I'm right. I'm no, happy that no, I got you guys please, angry. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> An accurate oh. depiction of all Patriots fans at this present moment. Hold up, y'all. I'll be right back. Dude, I just like if they missed Justin Jefferson, I would have been so mad. Do you think maybe they had an idea that Jefferson was going and that Yeah. Cause they might have called him and like, hey, we're thinking about taking Jefferson. Kind of similar to Tampa, right? And yeah, we're like, hey, if we want it, we want to get Jefferson. And they were like, oh, we're taking him. And they were like, okay. And then they traded the pick. Oh, yeah. Sean Payton had it, didn't he? Uh, I think he did because he, he tested, he had symptoms of it. I don't know whether you, it was. There is no meeting password, Wickers. Yeah, there is. There is? Yeah. Oh, look at the Twizzlers, the Crush, the Coke. There's there's another Coke can on the table at the top of the screen. Yeah. Gee, Sean Payton, ever ever hit a gym before, pal? Jesus. All right, now we're back. There he is. Because my iPad is 7%. So. My iPad is a charging. I need that for tomorrow night. Oh, I should have shouted out Sean. I had my Jets shirt on. There you go. Hella buck. Sick shoes, Sean Payton. This dude all over my TV tonight. Yeah. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, they could. Do they need one? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think they could use a linebacker. Oh, yeah, Minnesota picks again, don't they? Wait, yeah. what? Oh, the pick is in. Okay. I think they cut to the wrong graphic. <laughs> They cut to that graphic a little early. Here it is. Here it is. Who that? Who is it? Whoa. More protection for Drew. Go blue. Go green. Aww. There hasn't been a single Michigan State player picked in the first round. 
Oh, that's nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, geez. God damn, man. As if all this stuff in the world going on wasn't enough. We had to have such a negative connotation to almost every other draft pick in this. Wow, he was young. <sighs> My God, Jesus. Oh, God damn. Well, good for him. Now I'm crying in the club, fellas. No. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I can root for a guy like that. Yeah, of course. Where's his shirt, though? <laughs> Joe Murray. Sixteen good. minutes ago, Patriots trade twenty three for thirty seven and uh, seventy one. I like the move. Plenty of talent. Yeah, it was just Deep funny draft. that it's just funny that we stayed up the entire way. Yeah, right before they trade. We probably got another what half an hour left? You think? Right? Yeah, yeah. about that. So, fellas, some college hockey news, I guess, while we're on here. I'm, I'm just coming across. North Dakota unveiled its 2020-21 schedule today. Uh, they're going to host their rival Minnesota. October Who's this? North Dakota. Okay. They're going to host their rival uh, Minnesota October 23rd and 24th. That series is nestled between a showdown on October 17th against Penn State in Nashville for the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame game in the Halloween weekend at Cornell. Whew. Jeez. UND's got a stack schedule. They always do, though. Merrimack starts at Penn State, right? Yep. That's sick. Which, fellas, if, if, if there's no game at, at the Lalo that weekend, you, you, can, you can bet your sweet bippy I'm going. Oh, yeah. Rody. <laughs> what, what are you laughing at, at Wickers? <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't think, laugh uh, and then not say anything. I think he's laughing at what I said. No. What'd you say? What? Check the t- check the Twitter. Oh, man. <laughs> The one with Ian or the one with Title Town takes? No, with Ian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vikings are trading out at 25. Look at on the clock. You bet your sweet bippy I did. <laughs> Rapport says they traded out. Vikings yep, did. Here we go. The nine is an hour on the clock. Yeah, I, forgot I, really wanted. I forgot that. Zoom on my phone runs it really hot. <laughs> Shafty, what do you got? Shafty. Nope. He's not ready. Can you hear me? <laughs> Jeez. Who is this that they want? Oh. Dude, who needs who needs him when you got friggin' use check catching touchdowns on the Super Bowl? Need more fullbacks. They were hoping for Justin Jefferson for damn sure. Dad, how could you blow two Super Bowl leads? I mean, seriously? <laughs> you stink. Receiver at Arizona State. Boo. Oh, 
Okay. One complaint, and you guys can yell at me or whatever, but this damn ticker on the bottom, and it says Mel's best picks every time. Just say Mel's best picks at the start, and then one, two, three, four, five. You don't need to have it separated by everything. I agree with that. Like every three or four picks, you can do it. Oh, every five. Yeah. doesn't need to be every pick. Mel just really wants you to know that it's his best picks. Go Niners! The Uke? Wow, look at that social distancing right there in the middle. I got like five seven people. people. Oh, this five. Five. All right. Boo! This guy's a Arizona stud. State! Boo! Arizona State sucks. This guy's an absolute stud. Is he? The last wide receiver that came out of Arizona State wasn't any good, so we'll see. Who's that? Just answered your question on the TV. There we go. You're right. An 81 inch wingspan at under six foot. What the hell? He's over six feet tall, and you can't teach that. Bada boom, tallest guy in the room. How you doing? Uh, yeah, Brandon Ayuk, 2019, 65 catches for 1,192 yards. Damn. Eight touchdowns. Um, oh, my God. Look at this dude's arms. What the hell? They're longer than him. monstrous. He averaged 18.3 yards a catch. Man, ASU just spits out big wide receivers. Well, I mean, think That's about Herm it. Edwards for you. Think about it. Yeah, you got Herm down there, right? And then you also you got to do – all you got to do for recruiting. Hey, you want to come play in Arizona where it's 80 <laughs> degrees all year long? Pool party. Yeah, that is not That is not true. It okay, is not 80 degrees college, all year During long. college football season, Yes. You got to put up with 115 during the summer. That ain't fun. It's a dry heat. Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> As the guy who had to live through it, it doesn't. It doesn't make much of a difference. It, you want to die slightly less. <laughs> Miami's got another freaking pick. Oh my god. Jordan Love still on the board. I don't see anyone taking him for the next three here. Not Miami, no. not Seattle, not Baltimore. Not the um, who, City. who has 29. Not the Titans, not KC, and not, not San Fran. Not San Fran. So looks like Love will drop to the second round unless something insane happens. Nah, Baltimore is going to take him. Oh, no. I don't believe <laughs> Baltimore's going to trade Lamar Jackson to the Patriots. <laughs> sure. Nintendo Switch. Oh, fellas, I need a snack to keep me going here. I know, man. Cool. What, uh, what do we got? Five people? Four people? Uh, let me look. Uh, we get two. Yeah, two. It's probably what CK and Justin. Probably. Yeah, well, it's not a big deal. I think CK went to sleep. He's not in the voice chat anymore. Okay. Well, because he still wants to work. I think. True. Which sucks. That does suck. <sighs> so, ah, uh, man. I'm just I'm I'm out of I don't know who Miami's taking here. I'd say another O lineman, honestly. Yeah. Either that or they go defensive. They could use lots of things, so they can't go wrong anywhere. All right, fellas. I'm going to get a snack to keep myself like motivated here. Do what you gotta do. You gotta keep them motivated. <laughs> How you doing, Wickers? I'm doing all right. Oh, we got a Snapchat from Pete oh, Cohen. I think Pete's got to be in the chat. What did he say? Oh, we can't say that on the air. 
Oh, really? <laughs> Duh, <laughs> expletive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shout out to Pete Cohane in the chat. One love, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I'll fucking say it. The fuck is what he said. Oh, come this on. This is after Donna. this is after hours. We've been in after hours, Cameron. Come on. What's up, Pete? Thanks for tuning in and staying with us. Appreciate you're it, much pal. better than another person who doesn't know how to work the <laughs> game. <laughs> uh, bougie. Uh, then whoever our other fan is, I don't know, you know. Wherever you are, we love it's you. Ian looking at the chat. <laughs> Honestly, it could. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, and no, we're not in it for the fans, man. I mean, we love Seahawks, you guys, Ravens, but... Titans, Packers. Yeah, no one, no, none of these are taking a quarterback. Vikings, the Packers Chiefs. are at thirty. They made the yeah, playoffs. Man. They made it to the NFC title game, my dude. Last year. Yeah. I don't remember that. Well, the game was very forgettable. So. God damn. Don't believe the hype. Ugh. All right, Wakers, this is on you for a little bit. I'm going to go refill my water. All right. So, so fill the air. we're coming back from the break, hopefully. Oh, no, not Jimmy Camel. Damn. What do you got to say, Jimmy? Oh, Matt Franco. Looks like we're just doing a bunch of shout-outs here from, you know, everybody saying, hey, whatever. Don't really have much to say. Um, Miami's still on the clock. One fifty-six remaining. Uh, I don't know who. I really don't know who Miami's going to take. I think they're going to take either a wide receiver or another O lineman. I know Miami's defense isn't great, but with Tua's injury problems, they're probably want to get as much help there as possible. And I don't know. Uh, I wish they the best available is on the screen now instead of the ticker that's going very slow. That's also another problem I have. But um, no idea who they're going to take. They're 120 now. It's just, uh, I don't know. There's your shot of the Las Vegas Stadium. Allegant Stadium. Very beautiful facility. All right, McKinney. I, could, I mean... I don't know if really they need – well, they – okay. I could see them taking McKinney or Winfield or Winfield Jr. here because they just traded um, Minka Fitzpatrick to the Steelers. So they definitely do need a safety. Definitely those two guys could fill that spot. Oh, trade alert, trade alert, trade alert. Wee, wee, wee. Miami Dolphins have traded the pick. That's why they were taking so long. They've traded the pick to the Packers. The pack attack is back, and the Packers are on the clock now. So let's see what they're going to do. I don't know who the Packers want, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Ian, Packers are on the clock. There was a trade. Wow. Connor, you missed a trade. I did? Packers are on the clock now. Well, they moved up. I was wondering why they were taking so long. I was trying to fill the air. I was thinking that they might take the Dolphins might take McKinney because they just traded Fitzpatrick. They needed that uh, that DB help. I know he doesn't play the same position, but still. And nope, they just traded out. So, Packers. Jordan Love is going to Green Bay. Not a bad I pick. I mean, it wouldn't be awful considering how old Aaron Rodgers is. He's thirty-five. Injury prone. Injury prone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be a surprise, but it'd be a surprise, but I would be surprised. How do you say the GM's name? Matt Le- or. Ryan uh, Gutekunst. 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 That sounds right. Lafleur. It's much easier to pronounce than that name. Matt Lafleur. Guy Lafleur. Mel Kiper still looking miserable. At least he doesn't look as sweaty. Uh, I probably so told him. Bad. They probably told him, hey, dude, wipe your face a little Mel, bit, get please. A, Mel, get a towel. <laughs> Let's hear it. Do, 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 do. It 
The pack attack is back. Okay, I can't. I, I'm sick and tired of seeing all this Roger the Dell thing. <laughs> he does the same thing every time. Quarterback. There you go. All right. Okay, I didn't see Jordan Love getting picked, but I was wrong. Wow. Yeah. People not tuning in. They drafted Jordan Love the same time they drafted Aaron Rodgers. When Brett That's Fox weird, man. Five. Entered high school at 5'6", 130. Damn. Talk about hitting a late growth spurt. One FBS offer. How about that? Uh, so for people that are tuned in, Jordan Love in 2019, he threw 473 passes, uh, completed 293 of those, good for a completion percentage of 61.9%, racked up 3,402 yards, uh, which is actually 100 less than what he did in 2018. Um completed more passes interesting but he also threw for an additional like 60 something passes so uh he averaged 7.2 yards a, a completion uh 20 touchdowns 17 picks Ooh. he had a passer rating of 129.1 that 17 picks though is a little little freaky oh yeah but hey, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's a Packer tradition, gunslingers. Yeah, he's got a clean release. Like even though Rodgers doesn't throw as many picks as Favre does, I'd, a I'd classify them, I'd classify them both as gunslingers. Oh, so beautiful throw back to at the Air Force Academy. Oh. Hey, man, this isn't a terrible pick for the Packers. No, I agree. Cameron, go get your mother. We need, yeah. we need a breakdown. She's asleep. <laughs> my mom goes to sleep at like 9 o'clock, my guy. <laughs> That's what moms do. Hey, did you guys know that this is Mel's best available? Yeah. I wonder what happened to Xavier McKinney. Good point. He could go to Seattle. Well, if he's a, a big, if he's a big hitter, he'll fit in right there. Oh, a great throw! Oh, what that a throw. was sick. Go green, straight out of and straight out of uh, NCAA fourteen. Me and Connor know that. First time trying to speak, Cap. <laughs> hey, listen, we've all been there. Me the other night during the episode. We've been talking for three hours. That's true. This is by far the longest we've ever been on air for something. Yeah, That's no true. kidding. If we used to record for two hours, I mean, we'd have music breaks and stuff, but now it's kind of half an hour. Oh, he looks like, oh, man, finally. Big yeah. weight off his shoulders. Well, it's at this point where guys are like, oh, I'm not going to go in the first round. I'm wasting my time being here today. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, whenever I think of Susie Culver, I think of the Joe Namath interview. Oh, man. I want to kiss you. Kiss you. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. Even though that doesn't make any sense. If you couldn't care less, that means you do care. <laughs> off the yeah. couch, off the couch, and in front of the computer, Jordan Love, the newest Green Bay Packer. No way, he could care less. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. Could care less means you do care. Couldn't care less means you don't. True. Whatever. I think he used the wrong whatever whatever Joe Namath said, I'm pretty sure he said it wrong. All right. So Jeez, now we're that looking was, that was eighteen years ago, guys. Time flies years. when you're having fun, man. Or seventeen years ago.
Go Pack, go. Oh. Who do you love? Oh, he's dead too? Good. Yeah, he passed away as well. Damn. Again, like uh, we, we've talked about this a couple of times here tonight, fellas. Like every other player, every other every other draft pick seems to have some sort of like tragic story in their life, like this. It, you know? Yeah. Jesus. Oh God. Christ alive. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. That poor kid. Like, it's one thing, it's like, it's a tragedy, but it's like, that's awful. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, man. That's tough. All right, five picks left. All right, come on. Get to the Seahawks pick already. Come on. Six picks, Connor. Can you not count? It's 11.30. This is when it was supposed to end, my guy. (laughs) What are we doing here? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We're, we're going well, past I, this I, night, didn't boys. Count, I didn't count 27. Okay. Fair, okay, fair enough. If you're not counting 27, then fine, yes. I'll be right back. There goes that wickers. All right, fellas, what do we think is going on here? Where, uh, where's Seattle going? That safety has to go now, I think. Tell you one thing, fellas, it's weird looking at the uh, draft board and seeing Tennessee this far down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm back. Something we're not used to. Yeah. Had to, had to hit the head. Thanks for sharing. I mean, you talk about it, right? You have a Seattle team that last year, I mean, they made the playoffs. They went in 11 5. They were right in that wild card. They were right in the hunt for that division. They were good, man. Yeah, they could have won it. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Well, these are the heartwarming stories you like to hear. Yep. See, Hawks. Yeah, boy, Beach. I got you, fella. Hey guys, they love you know doing I'm that damn for? chant. They love doing that damn chant. Are we going to cut to commercial? Oh, I thought they were doing it to me. We'll save what I'm excited for for after this. Oh, I've been spoiled. I'll save say your McKinney? Nope. Okay. Jordan Brooks, Texas Tech. Spells his name with a Wow. Spells his name with a Y. Tackles. Seventh right. in Texas Tech history. That's a lot of accolades. I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. <sighs> Sorry, boys. I'm excited to record a live podcast with you fellas one of these days soon, together in the same room. 
So only funny. six foot. Wow. He's kind of under you and me, me, you and me both. Two forty though. Oh jeez. Yeah, take that Iowa State guy. Iowa this guy's State a sucks. savage. Oh yeah! Wow. Good, good uh, sideways speed. Yep. Lateral, as they say. Lateral speed. My bad. I couldn't think of the word. Good coverage. Oh, nice end zone. That looked like a little. That looked like nice a little move. bit of pi, but. Oh yeah, of course. Pi is not called in in college football. Oh, good tackle. About? Jace, he's making a lot of solo tackles. Mm-hmm. See ya. Give me that guy. Oh, oh fumble. Right to it's a top thing to, to yell during a football game. <laughs> fumble! Fumble! <laughs> I like to draw it out. I like a little fumble. And then the way Chris Berman said it was always great. It's a fumble. Go. Oh, the what? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, boy. Oh. Getting sleepy. Pete Carroll, 9 11 truther. <laughs> Pete Carroll needs to be in bed. Well, no, three hours, bro. It's, uh, Real difference, yeah. Yeah. It's, the it's eight there. o'clock. Pete Carroll should be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most tired I've been at. This is where really living on the East Coast sucks. The yeah. East Coast the East Coast is objectively the worst time zone for sports. No. You want to talk about worst? Talk about Atlantic time being an eight being an hour ahead. What do you mean? So, like, right now, in Atlantic Canada, in, like, Nova Scotia, PEI, New Mexico. I mean, in, like, the U.S. I was saying in the U.S. Yeah, relevant places, Ian. Come on. Yeah. Right, we have Canadian viewers. <laughs> the best the Don't best place. Just the kidding, no, Just kidding. No, the, just be- kidding. the best place is uh, Mountain Time, two hours yeah. back. Yeah, I guess so, right? Because you're starting getting, like, a 7 o'clock game here starts at, what, 5? Five? 5. Five. 5, yeah. You're, cook, you're starting to cook dinner as games are starting. That's great. But it's like on uh, like for football, it's like you get the one o'clock game yeah, at eleven. From State you get Farm. The, you get the four o'clock game at two, and you get the Sunday night game at uh, six. Khakis. Hey, this this is confirming Jake from State Farm is going to the 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 Ravens. <laughs> Red sweater, white white polo. She let me wear my chain and my turtleneck sweater. Oh. Go dogs. Yeah, Connor, no Jake Fromm, huh? That's not surprising. Still got some progressing to do. I could see him going in round three, maybe four. Connor, you should be proud. I haven't made one pun tonight. I am very proud. I, That's why I'm as happy as I am. These commercials are just getting boring now. Yeah, I missed that point of the night, right, fellas? Oh, God, Stone Cold. <laughs> Stone right, Cold. Right. He went to the glass. Pick is in. Do, 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 do. Where do we think Guys. the Ravens are going? Guys, do you realize what's happening right now? <laughs> There's sports stuff happening on the TV. True. Not great. Yeah. While we're all here, fellas, what are your thoughts on the uh, Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson charity golf match with uh, Tom When is that happening? In a month? Uh, In May. They haven't announced an official date yet, but it is scheduled for May. I don't particularly. figure out who I want to root for because I love Tiger and I don't really like Phil. I, I love Tiger. Hate Phil. Yeah. But who's Tiger Tiger's playing, playing with? with? Tiger's playing with Peyton and Brady's playing right. with 
I can't root for Peyton. I don't know. Maybe I can my, now. My hate for my hate for Peyton outweighs my outweighs my love for Tiger. And I don't really care about Phil Mickelson. But Phil Mickelson did lose my respect during that one tournament where he ran to hit the ball when it was already rolling. That's a bush league move. If you guys remember that, I do I remember. Yeah, and that led to Jim Murray or um, Bertrand swearing on the air. If y'all remember that. Yep. He's like, you were, you, you see Mickelson running from the effing ball and Zoe went, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go Gophers. Goldie Gopher, baby. Is Minnesota the team that was like, keep rowing or whatever it Row was? Row the boat. Row the boat, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was a fun team to watch. Yeah. Ooh, good, good. Ooh. He's getting drafted right now. Multiple LSU guys still on the board. Patrick Queen to the Ravens confirmed. Also, okay. can we confirm a number here of how many Ravens – oh, sorry, how many Ravens – how many LSU guys have been drafted so far? Uh, it? It's like four, five, three. Also, three, I'd like four, to five. point out that if Queen is drafted – that's two players. If so, all right, I'll, I'll get to it if it's happened because there's no point in bringing it up if it doesn't happen. I didn't know Calais Campbell was on the Ravens. Forgot because already was with Arizona, then he went with the Jags. I like how they do the lights. I think that's kind of cool. Killer Queen. Boom. There you All go. It. So how about that? Jefferson. And Queen both got drafted to teams with purple in the color scheme. Kept it. Kept the so purple. They don't. They, they're not going to be changing much. Nope. nope. Go Tigers. Livonia High School. <laughs> Yay! No death this time. Come on, Tennessee. Let's make it fast. I don't mean to be yawning, boys, but like it's a bit of a drag. I'm with you, especially if the Patriots not drafted at all. You shouldn't be surprised about that, my boy. My guy, you shouldn't be surprised. A lot of six foot D uh, defensive players going. Look at all that orange. Is the teen eligible to be drafted? No, I don't think so. Huh. Are they Uh, No. I didn't think so. Derek Wolf. It's Wolf. <laughs> wolf. No, it's not a wolf. Wolf, wolf. A wolf is what a dog does. Really? I didn't know. He's that. a wolf. Kind of, you got like a purple light on your forehead. What's up with that? What are you talking about? I think your camera is broken as well. What are you on about? Ian, is, 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 he not, is he not moving for you either? Now he is. Well, now he is, yeah. I had to check Dude, the Twitterverse. Stuck. I see. My phone's almost dead, fellas. The cerebral. Gonna make it. Oh, man. My phone's at 56. That was the fourth LSU player to be drafted in this round. So 
So I do just want to point out that uh, CK's prediction is going to be very wrong. What's what CK's, CK's prediction? Uh, what did he say? He said... Uh, he probably said that I suck. But what else? He did he say that. Well, yes. <laughs> He said that there were going to be nine LSU Tigers going in the first round. Go Tigers. Jeez. He's a big LSU guy. Well, actually, hold on. Four. uh... Nope. Even if the next uh, four picks all take Tigers, it can only be eight. Tough, CK. No Tigers. No Tigers. That's a cold take, fellas. Really? John Harbaugh is the kind of guy that would virtual high-five somebody. <laughs> Jeez, got enough stuff, Harbaugh? My God. Half of it's books that he's probably never even opened or read in right. his entire life. See what let's see what Mr. Vrabel does. Do we see DeAndre Swift going before the first round's over? Unfortunately for Mike Vrabel, he can't call multiple timeouts to stop the clock. Huh. <laughs> What's the uh the the freeze? Where's my super suit? <laughs> Where? I can't hear you. Where is my, my super, super suit? suit? Why do you need it? Why? Um, Tom Brady's last throw is a Patriot. Oh. Hey, he threw it to a Patriot. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Cameron. He did. Why do you need it? I'm talking about the greater good here. I'm greater good? Greater good. I, I am, am your wife. wife. I, I am, am the, the greatest, greatest good, good you have ever will ever see. Get. Oh man, when Tennessee blew this, I was very upset. You knew, I really, gonna, you knew it was gonna happen. I know, but I really wanted them to win. Cause if because if they would have beaten us. Oh my god. What is going on over there? The hell? I don't understand. Rimble doesn't have good. That's Wi-Fi definitely, in that's definitely a frozen that's definitely a frozen image. Yeah. Nice pink shirt there, Mike. Hey, Kurt Warner, you're still here. Cameron, I Good think to he see you your still headphones. Around. What's up? I think he's using the headphones you Oh, have. the Bose ones? Yeah, those are the Bose headphones. Shout out to Bose. Not the no ones sponsors. I'm using now. Not sponsored. Connor, what do we have for battery life, man? 22. 53. Fun times 53. So if I just disappear from the chat, this is a good night. Come on, friggin' Tennessee. Just announce the damn thing. We're way over time. Granted, it's not like ESPN has anything to show, but the principle is the principle. So this is going to be over four freaking hours. I don't care. What it's the great. hell? All right, pick is in finally. Woo! AJ Brown, yeah, we could have drafted that guy. Say Go Wilson. Dogs. Go, Go dogs. dogs. Go dogs. Oh, he's crying. Yay. It's a weird looking hat. Yeah, don't yeah I, don't, I don't like those hats. The all white hat, they all look weird to me. They also don't look very good on TV. Yep. So they overexpose the hell out of the white. That's what friggin' what's his that's what Turner taught us. <laughs> White's hard to shoot, man. I know. Six six three fifty. Jeez. 
Remember when Justin Fields was at Georgia? I do. And he left. Yep. There's Chase old, State from. Clean old fashioned hate, fellas. Swift could go to uh, Miami here. Getting Swifty. Great throw, Jake. I love oh. those Tennessee checkered end. end yeah, zones. I was I was about to say I love the end zones that Tennessee has. Oh. Shout out to uh Professor Tolls. Really? Yep. Yeah, he went to Tennessee, you didn't know that? Tolson has uh, a lot of yes I did. Tennessee has a lot of uh to, sorry, Tolson has a lot of orange in his life. Andy. Tennessee and uh Texas. Shout out to that guy's hair, by the way. Hair to the draft. Mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. Of Connor's at 20 because his camera just went out, I think. Now I'm checking a, a message from Pete. Oh, what does Pete have to? I didn't get no message from Pete. What the Thought, hell? Thoughts on the Pats' new uniforms? Uh, I don't know. Pete, you got to wake up and turn into last week's episode or today's episode, I guess, right? We mm-hmm. talked about it a little bit, maybe. Maybe. I don't know when we talked about it. We did. We did at one point. So Connor, 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 we talked about it on Connor. Monday with Sarge. Yep. Connor, we talked about it, but you weren't all there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He had a long day. Leave him alone. Yeah, he Very did. long day. Falling asleep in front of the camera like. Yeah, man. Sleepy boy. Oh, Look, fellas, we only got three more. We can do yes, it. Connor. What's your battery at? It's 50-something. 50, 50, uh, you're 51. good. You'll make it. 51. Ski. Remember when we all thought Justin Jefferson was going on the Patriots? <laughs> yeah, and then the Patriots traded away their first-round draft pick. Mm-hmm. Isn't that great? Don't you love the – don't you love Bill? Isn't Bill the best? You know what really grinds my gears? Wickers. Well, besides that, you guys, <laughs> I love you guys. I can't imagine what else I'd rather do with my four hours and hang out with the likes of y'all. Oh, man. Well, I mean, let's face it, Cameron. You'd be watching this anyways, and you'd be talking to us anyways. Nah, Cameron wouldn't have watched this if we didn't have him. He probably would have watched up until the Patriots traded, and then we would have played MLB The Show. FM, maybe. I haven't played FM in like three weeks, so let it last. What? I guess it comes in waves for you, eh? Yeah, it does. I just don't feel like playing it lately. Fellas, did anybody see the picture of Bill Belichick set up tonight? Yeah, I did. They shot it right at the start. Him and his dining room table. He's got like too much use out of it. He's got like wicker back chairs. Wickers. <laughs> <laughs> ESPN Plus, I pay for that. You do. Don't use it, but I pay for it. <laughs> Remember when Brady was on the Patriots? Who? Who? <laughs> what? I would watch the detail series, but that would mean I have to listen to Peyton Manning talk, and I'm just not about it. If they could give someone to do a voiceover, I would watch it. That isn't Peyton Manning. Just mute it. That doesn't do me any good. Put the captions on. Mute it. No, I'm good. I mean, I can do a voiceover for you. Just record what Peyton Manning says. I know what I'm talking about. I don't want to hear, listen to you at all, Connor. I barely <laughs> want to listen to you normally. I guess that doesn't help you very much, does it? <laughs> Only if you put on a crappy Peyton Manning accent while you do it. Uh, I'd have to do some practice. Tom does such a great job here. And that's just, that's, just our, just, that's just wait, our southern voices when we talk in southern voices. Let's just take a second to talk about the offensive weapons down in Dallas now. That's what I was talking about earlier, my man. I know, I know, but – Dak, Zeke, Michael Gallup, Amari Cooper, and now C.D. Lamb. It's a good offense. And I think they have a decent tight end, yeah? They have a good offensive line, too. Well, they had Jason Witten. 
They're no, but I thought they don't. I thought they don't. Offensive tight linemen are freaking horses. Mm-hmm. Dallas's problem is they can never stay healthy. That's their problem. Right. Dallas defense could use some help, though. Reggie oh Bush, 22 minutes ago, trade bait for sure. I'm calling it now. Aaron Rodgers is going to end up with the Patriots. Oh. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Never. I refuse. Settle to down. That. That's Reggie Bush talking out of his butt. Xavier McKinney is still on the board. This poor kid. He's been Mel's favorite top option for like 15 for picks. three hours now. I forgot that Michael Pittman's son plays. Who's the running back for Wisconsin? Jonathan Ta- Taylor. 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 I'm surprised he wasn't higher ranked, man. He's a whole, he's a boss. Is he dra- Is he in the draft though? Did yeah, he, he did. On ESPN or on NB on um NBC on NFL Network, they put him as like the fourth best running back in the draft. Well, no running backs have gone. It's been mostly That's defense, man. It's fair. No running backs have been picked. All right, the pick is in. Yeah, we got to hear Adam Schefter talking nonsense for two minutes. No running backs left tonight. Hey, ESPN, we know you're watching. Give us a shout out. Come on. <laughs> we literally just said it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Schefter, I know you're watching, bud. Well, yeah. Ooh. Whoa, that's sick. That is sick. I think that's really cool, honestly. So the Patriots now, tonight, after tonight, they have 13 picks. 37 in the second round. The third round, they have 71, yeah, we have a lot 97, of 98, and 100. Fourth round, they have 125, 139. Fifth round, they have 172. Sixth round, 195, 204, 212, 213, and 230 in the seventh. Oh, Flores kids went to bed, I think. Yeah, yeah I would hope so. Well, we, have a, we, have, we have a couple of guys here who are struggling to stay awake. It's true. Well, I'm on my nice comfy couch, man. The very same couch I watched the Bruins win the cup on. Didn't work too well for you last year, did it? I didn't watch the cup down here. I only watched one game down here. Mistake. I only I only watched one game down here, and they lost it. I watched game four down here. God, that was that was what the deal was. Every Stanley Cup final game, the Bruins won when I watched it in a different place. I ran out of places to watch. Fair. Because they won game one out in the front room. They won game three when I was at your brother's house, and they won game game six when I was out in my den. I ran out of places. Ran out of spots. Only if you came to the bar with us that night. Oh Jesus! You I know you would have like... hated. You would have hated that though. I hated it, so that should tell you. I was already miserable that night. I would have been the most. I might yeah. not be alive, Connor. I might. I might be dead. <laughs> that was. Uh, let's not get into that. But yeah, that's a whole. My dislike of bars and the way the game went. It would have not been good. I'll never go out and watch it. Important game ever again yeah i'll like drink in somebody's house sure but brian flores with a nice cup of coffee or tea he's ordering pizza (laughs) no one's been on the phone another corner what is that five or six that's like six yeah. Why do you say that name? I don't know. I was Igmanogany. listening to Goodell. No way, Igmanogany. Oh, man. Igmanogany. Good for him. Igmanogany. Igmanogany is, I believe, how you say it. Nigerian Olympian. Wow. What? Long what? jump and triple jump. That's, he cut, wow. His mother was an Olympian, too. What the hell? He was born in to be an athlete, man. Yeah, no kidding, dude. He, he's gonna have. He's got the genes. Festus Igbenigenabeni. Faith 
Egg Benogany. Come on. Egg Benogany. I don't get paid to pronounce his, stuff. His sister's his sister's a athlete too, dang. Freshman. Egg Benogany. What a name. Miami may be better than the Patriots after this. Vikings pick's already in. Thank God. Good. And I hope Kansas City's pick is already freaking in, too. Wait, Cincinnati's the last pick? No, 33 no, next 32. round, next day, to, dummy. There's only they 32 just, they teams, just have my to dude. List us. Thank you, boys. You're stupid. Well, happy Friday, fellas. It's officially midnight. Yeah, eh? Friday. Got to get down oh, on Friday. Yeah. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Party and yeah, and all the rest of the lyrics. Fun, 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 fun. Oh yeah, I forgot about fun. Oh Pete Cohane. What do we got? Oh, Pete's tapping out. Kids are soft. Going Could to bed. Stay up for like fifteen more minutes to he watch. Said, the he said. He said thanks night. for the entertainment. It's been fun, boys. Have a good night. Cheers, Pete. Cheers, Pete. Night, Pete. Love you, buddy. Th- thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, Thanks pal. For... Only two left. This poor Xavier McKinney kid. They haven't even, they've, I don't think they've cut to him once. Oh, man. Somebody give him a hug or something. I know. Uh, I guess he wants his base, maybe. I don't know. I can't really say. I've never really been in that situation before. Yeah, We're just guys on true. the couch. Yep. Nothing good's ever happened to us. I know. <laughs> Boogers are still here. Booger where's his, where's his booger mobile? It's in the shop. He's got a green screen. Come on, man! Memorize it and then read it into the camera. If this was if this was Turner, he'd look be at like, the, what the freaking hell? deer mounted above Zimmer's mantle. That's balling. That is that sick. huge. You no, know he killed that thing himself too. He oh, cut, the like, fire is dwindling. Torso. He cut half the torso off. Skull. Two more. Another corner. Well, that's the thing is there's there's so few corner prospects most drafts. That's fair. I hate playing Madden because you got to really trade up. Yeah. Because there's like two or three good corners when you play Madden in the whole draft, and then there's like crap. Yep. All right. Show me Andy Reid. Show me the man, the myth, the legend. I hate Andy Reid. He's a bum. Oh, geez, that was nice. Oh, I can't what, wait are those, to what were those unis, though? Very physical, seems like. He's not afraid to get make contact. Yep. Oh, here he comes. Oh, 34, Jesus. you got to pick him up. Jeez. I am behind you guys. Oh, he just took that away from him. Wow. And then he's going the other way to the house. Wait, what the fuck? Kyler's not even watching the right channel. He's watching like... Oh, he fumbled it. Oh. (laughs) How about that? TCU, they also wear purple. (laughs) Yeah. Go Frogs. Horn Frogs. If I got in there, I might have went to TCU. Texas Christian baby. Yep. All right, Mel. He looks like a preacher, like doing a sermon. <laughs> Sweaty head, red face. Yeah. Oh, Andy Reid. There he is. Where's his barbecue? 
Love his fla- uh, Hawaiian shirts, dude. Love them. Boo. Overrated. <sighs> Future Hall of Famer already? What the hell? Oh, come on. He's in. Shut up, both of you. What do you mean he's in? What do you he's mean he's two in? Seasons. two seasons. Yeah, right. And you think he's going to drop off that drastically that he's not going to You never know, for... man. You can't say you that know. two seasons into his career. There could also be the point where he retires or gets injured and can't be inducted. That's what I mean. Played off seasons. He did not deserve that Super Bowl MVP, though. I'll say it. Well, who deserved it? Not him. Damian Williams. Yeah. Fair. That's it's like so easy the, to give it to the quarterback. That's like when that's like when Manning won in twenty in two thousand seven or two thousand seven, and they gave it to him, even though yeah. he played a horrible Super Bowl. It should have been Dominic Rhodes. What are you chomping on, Andy? Is it gum? Yeah. You can't really chew tobacco like that. Yeah, he's mowing on a piece of gum. Oh, Andy Reception. Half man, half amazing. Yeah, I can't take that much Andy Reed in one shot. <laughs> it's a lot of man. I'm trying to figure out what that third helmet is. Raiders? Maybe. It's the only white helmet I can think of. Shout out to the random Notre Dame football in the background. Yeah. Come on, KC. Almost there, fellas. We got one more pick. Connor, what's your battery I'm, life? I'm, I'm dying. 11. I'm at 39. So I'm going to make it. Connor may not. I'll probably make it. Oh, that's the thing. KC's not going to take a running back. They have Williams, and they have that other kid who's also named Williams. They might so, take a running back here. They have Darren no, Williams and no, they're not Damian take Williams. A running back. I, I, I think if anything, I, I think we see them go like linebacker or a defensive tackle. Cool, I commit. See them take a running back. Do they have a tight end? Yeah, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on now. I forgot about that overrated piece of garbage. They won't go wide receiver. No, they don't need that. Kansas City, please. Up, oh, clock stopped. Yeah, see, Booger thinks they're going D-line. Pick is in. All right. All right. I think if they're smart, they go D. But They're going to take Swift, and Bush is going to have a heart attack. What? The Patriots did not get him. He was my boy. My guy. My guy. Yeah, my guy. Sorry, it's been a while. He hasn't had a boy since Dola. Tice, do not shoot that. No, Tice made a shot. Brad. Brad, you suck. All right, guy. I appreciate all you're doing for this draft, but I'm at the point where I don't care. Just show me who they pick. So we can get out of here. Please. I'm not asking for much. Send it's it been to 84. Oh my God. We're going to cut to commercial. It's been 84 years. Andy Reid's changing the channel on TV. Oh, no, every time. (laughs) 
Clyde the Glide, baby. Okay. All right. Well, with that, brings our night to an end. Four yeah. hours. Don't we say we don't provide the content. That, yeah. We appreciate everybody that's joined along with us during all this. We, uh, again, it was uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, fellas, any closing words here before we yeah. uh, get on out of here? Thanks for joining us on our four hours of madness. We'll see how long we make. We'll see if how long if we make it tomorrow. Yeah, I, I uh, feel like if, if we're gonna come back tomorrow, we'll just stick around for the first little bit. Maybe do like an hour just while the, until the Patriots pick or whatever. You know. I got a. Uh, you know, horses I'm just happy in the back. There was something sports related that we could yeah, watch. Okay. That's very true. So, well, on that note, we will head on out of here for my co-hosts and uh, fellow football fanatics Connor Powell and Cam Erwitz. My name's Ian Boshane. Lights out. Good night. Good stuff. Are we not live anymore? <laughs> All right. This is the only song I know by them. <laughs> I drew on the screen. Can y'all see that? But I love their dirty water. We're out of here, everybody. Have a good night. We'll talk to you.